My name is Cody Breinstein. I'm from Hawthorne, California. This is my 1992 Nissan 240SX. And getting accepted was like a really rad feeling, especially knowing that like this year, I think there was like 70 drivers that applied. And I got in because the year before, the first season that they did it, I actually messaged Jeff on Instagram. Didn't know him personally, like never met him before. But like, how do I get into this? Like not expecting, you know, now I know Jeff, I know a lot of the pro drivers and they're just like super cool guys. But coming from hockey, like the people that are pro are like, you can't reach out to them. Like you can't hit up a pro NFL player and be like, hey, like wanna hang out this weekend? And I messaged him on a whim. I wanna drive in Hot Pit. I wanna drive Fuel Fest. So I hit him up, not expecting an answer. And like 10 minutes later, my phone buzzes like six times. And I look at it and it says, Jeff Jones liked your reel like six times. I was like, what the hell? And I said, Jeff Jones follows you. Jeff Jones sent you a message. And I was like, dude, what the fuck just happened? And the message was, hey, uh, come out to Fuel Fest. It's a hundred bucks, do rattle alongs, And if you drive really good, then we'll let you drive a hot pit. Okay, like, what do I need? He's like, you don't need anything other than your car needs to be like one color or have a livery. And my car had a red roof, a white hood. It had the KBD black front and rear bumper, side skirts. This door was white. The other door was white. So it was, it was crazy. And I was like, it needs to be one color, you said? He's like, yeah. Is that a problem? I was like, nope. No problem at all, Jeff. So I had three days and I went to Home Depot and bought 32 kids of spray paint. And I called my girlfriend and I was like, hey, because I was at my dad's. I was like, uh, what are we doing this weekend? She's like, I don't think anything. Why? I was like, we, I need you to come over and we have to paint my car in two days. Oh, letting people sit in the car. That's the easiest way to get someone to like, this is the coolest thing ever. Last year we did a prize wheel, which was cool. So people could come up and like, you know, spit it. And there was keychains and stuff like that. And Everything that I do, including like all my merch stuff, is I make it all and makes it easier to like give stuff away. And then you can get like, hopefully someone to follow you on Instagram or someone to come back to the next round and be like, hey, like I, you know, it's time you signed this thing for me last year, can you sign it again or whatever? Oh, that I went against? Yeah. Oh, the best was Mohan for sure. That was the most fun too. <laughs>
Hey Drift Enthusiasts, Tiny here, back on the mic to tell you all about the ACS Drift community. Not just a community, we're a family of modders, drivers, and content creator with over 49,000 members for Assetto Corsa. In our playground of over 250 servers, we're all about having a blast. From grip to tow game, SRP, and especially drifting, we've got it all. It's the place where the thrill never stops. But hey, it's not just about the races and drifts. It's about the community spirit. We love giving back to our members with exciting giveaways and competitions that keep the adrenaline pumping. And guess what? We team up with Hot Pit Auto Fest for the ultimate collaboration. It's a partnership that's making us stronger. But wait, there's more. We're not just local, we're global. Our Discord is the supreme spot where drivers from all over the world come together to share the passion and drive with the pros. So what are you waiting for? Join the ACS Drift community today and be a part of the ultimate driving experience. We'll see you on the track, drifters. My name is Johnny from Nitro Supply, located in Huntington Beach, and we're super excited to be an official sponsor of Hot Pit Auto Fest. If your project car struggles to merge onto the freeway, we have just a solution for you. With full kits starting at $3.99 and refills at $5 a pound, you'll be sure to have that extra pep in your pedal and still have enough gas money to get home. We provide easy access to all the parts and services you need, including refills, solenoid testing, and manifold plumbing. So give us a call, stop on by, and check us out on Instagram. Nah, it's just like that. All right, are you guys ready for the top 16? We got uh, our drivers lining up. Looks like everybody's just about ready. Gary King Jr., we need you. All right, so we're going to begin on stage. Well, that's what we need stage left, but that's the left. All right, media, you guys know what to do. I need you guys all the way down to the left, all the way down with that black S13. We're going to start on that side of the track. All media, get over there with your cameras. All media. All media. All right. Okay. It's so entertaining running your own show. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Uh oh. I can only assume we're live and people are watching us right now. You broke it again. It's been broken. It's uh, it's been broken. I, was say, I set it up. It's kind of tough to announce work. to people when you can't see them, huh? Yeah. It's like, are you down there? Yeah, I don't see a single soul. All I see is this black thing. Does right that here. stomping the feet thing work? So we can see if we can actually hear them. Yeah. Do you guys want to stomp your feet so we can see if we can hear you? <clears throat> see if we can hear you? I can't see you, but can you stop your feet? Stop your feet if you're in the crowd. Stop your feet. Stop your feet. 
Oh, wow. Oh, feels like an earthquake. Feel it. That's kind of scary. It's like an earthquake. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's right, get through like a 4.7 it, on the Richter. Hot Pit Auto Fest. Here we are. Top 16. 2024, baby. This is the first round. We're at the House of Drift. At Irwindale. the House of Drift. The House of Wet. Man, the top 32. It was breaking off, but right now we are in it. We are in the thick of it. The track top looks dry 16, now. Man. Yeah, it's going to be a good show. Very excited about it. Yep, that's a Gary King has got something Gary special. Gary King to talk Jr. About when he gets in here. Get um, here. We're going to need our track official, uh, Tim, to make sure that we get our national anthem, Sarah, down to track center. Somebody make sure that he takes her down there because that would help us out. Guys, we're going to have the national anthem saying right after we announce all of these drivers. How was the top 32? I didn't get to watch any of it as I was running around you didn't get to watch with my head cut off. Well, you know, I'll tell you what. It was a little bit of a any highlights uh, of a show. You know, there was a, a lot of spinning. That second outer zone was pretty much ruining a lot of people's day. Yeah. And we called it. You know, we knew that was going to be a tricky section, especially when it started drying up on that first uh, on the first outer zone. So they were able to build a bunch of speed on the bank, and then they were able to shoot off, try to kill the speed before they hit that outer zone. And about 60 percent of the field was missing the mark Ooh. on that. Missing the mark. That's a missing bummer. The mark. Um, you know, it's it's a, uh, it's almost like an easy technical track in a way, right? And that a weird way to say it. It's yeah. got these big turns that are easy, but they're banks, so you don't want to hit them. Uh, these little turns that you'd think be easy and get through there, but because of the decel zones, because of the way that you got to approach them to hit them, a little bit tough. I got to do a few laps yesterday. It's a fun. little. It's a bit of a non-organic corner. You know, it's not like a natural corner that that's you know that you. T typically drive like, it, right? This is, a, this, track? this is a crafty Anyways. corner. You know, this is a crafty corner. Crafty corner. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we've got our models to place. I think we're ready to announce the we top We need Gary 16. King Jr. We are waiting for our other announcer because I don't know what I'm doing up here. Announcer. But I think Chris Miller can handle this I for I sure. I think top 16. We need Mr. Gary. Mr. Gary. All right. All right. All right. All right. Who's ready for the top 16? Someone's yelling, hold, 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 hold. It must be entertaining how much you guys hear in the background. Media, media, we need you on the other side of the track. We're going to start with the black S13. All right, I got margaritas right here. Do we want to have them line up or just, no? Yes. Yeah, bring them. Put them on the end. Okay. Can you see comments of the live stream here? We don't have a phone doing that thing, huh? What an entertaining thing. Who do we got right here, bro? Say what's up. We are behind. It's not live. It's not live. Okay, we've got all of our people all right, in so position. Our last drivers here. We're gonna go ahead and let you guys take it over. You got this, buddy. I got it. You ready to send it? I'm gonna get back to work. It. Send it. Oh, oh shit! Go, go man. Where's the beep button? Beep. Oh, yeah, Tim Fellaini. Jeez. Now it's on. All right, so if anybody is curious, Jeff Jones has the fattest hot dogs in his uh, trailer. Hello? Is um, this on? Oh, okay. Bro, I had to walk up the stairs. Out of breath. Shout out to Billy Blank's Tybo. Knees. If anybody's looking for a really fat hot dog with no bun on it, it's a barely any bun. Pause. No, I'm dead serious. This is, I'll show it. If you guys want to turn around. You can show if it on the If you guys are in the crowd, stream. I'll show you in the window. Look at Who the wants window. to see Chris Miller's dog? Look at this! Look at this fat hot dog in the window. No bun on there. Are you gonna eat that? Are you gonna horrible eat hot dog? It? I'm not gonna eat it. Let me borrow that. Oh yeah, show the live stream. Let me show y'all something. You see this? Who eats a, Who eats that dog? I right do. There? That's crazy. All right. So kicking it down to the drivers. Are we ready? Media, are we ready? Are we in place? I guess I can't hear you guys answer me. Anyways, we're gonna start it off. With our driver all the way to the left media, I assume you guys are ready. Hey, you guys don't look ready to me. Media, hey, seriously, we need you on the other side of the track. Seriously, they're not looking. Absolutely. 
on the other side of the track. Other way. All right. So beginning with our, dri our first driver in the black S13. He's a new name for Hot Pit Auto Fest, but he's making a name for himself here pretty quick. Jackson Orr. Right next to him in the RTR brown Mustang with the suit that looks like he's ready to take out garbage in your local HOA approved neighborhood, Elliot Brightside. I'm grilling everybody today. So if you got some mental disabilities, I hope you survive today. Oh gosh. All right. And in that red E46, he's, he's back here for this is his second year doing Hot Pit Auto Fest. Yes, huh? sir. Yes, and sir. He's tearing people up. We got Anton Rykov. Oh, he's got a fan club over here. I hear him. Right next to him in the DIY One Series, our local legend and our local pro, the only one running a run series like that. So if you want to catch the fair one time for the one time, Rome Charpentier. <laughs> and we got another new name for Hot Pit Auto Fest here, but that car is super familiar, right? The car is very familiar, but that's a new name for us, and he's looking good out here too. A lot of the new name guys are doing great out here, especially this guy. Right. We got Logan Hunter. Oh, he's got a fan club over here, too. Right next to him, keeping the 55th Street in the <laughs> blue S14. Get it nifty on 50, Brian Wills. <laughs> keeping it nifty on 50s. All right, and in the super built, crazy looking monster S13 coupe. Got to be the craziest looking car on the track. Mr. Pablo Cabrera. Mm hmm. Well, the gatekeeper. Right next to him, the man who couldn't keep his hood down yesterday. All these <laughs> rookie mistakes. The one, the dim sun champion, Jason Kim. <laughs> I love you, Jason. Let me get some Popeyes later. Right next to him, this man, I'm very proud of you. If you're listening to me, my boy, I never hate on you. I just give you constructive criticism. Alex <laughs> Boy, got more R's than the right? IRS. All right. And right behind him in the Corvette. Man, we got a lot of Corvettes this year. Corvette, in the green Corvette. and black Corvette. Skirt. We got Josh Stewart. You better smile, Josh, like you did something with your life. <laughs> right next to Josh Stewart. The phone book champion called down the center, 1-800-CALL-COLLECT, and the beautiful 350Z, Dino, not so child, child. Make sure I say his name right. Yep, Dino Child, said it right. You said it right this time. Right. right next to him, all the way from the land down under, <laughs> kangaroos, spiders. Vegemite. Uh, what else do you have? The crocodile Dundee. <laughs> In the most opposite Australian machine ever. I remember Luke Fink told me don't talk like that because I sound it needs. But Luke Fink doing your thing. Get freaky on him. Do a dance real quick. Do the Australian boogie, Luke. He got Jeff Jude suit. He got Jeff Jones suit. Jeff Jones suit. Shout out to Jeff Jones. He been on the stairmaster. I seen his glutes yesterday. Looking mighty fine. Pause. All right. Behind him is another new name in a sweet looking car. That car is absolutely slammed too. We like that around here. We like slam mm -hmm. cars. Yeah. Nima Voss. Right next to Nima Voss, we have a local legend. Most people won't put respect on his name, but I'll put respect on his name. To be 20 years deep in the drifting and to still have a rotary engine despite the technological difference that exists, like V8s, Kyle Mohan. Oh, here it comes. And right next to him. Here it comes. A man. You got it for him, Gary? Pause. Who like I have, I like to have his name in my mouth. <laughs> I salivate every time I think about him. Margaritas Cantonitas. I think I pooped myself. <laughs> and I am that way. Yeah. I done ate this whole hot dog. The hot dog is gone. So Gary ate the really fat hot dog, and that will be... The top 16 for round one, Hop Hit Auto Fest 2024. Shout out to Jeff Jones for putting his meat in my mouth. Pause. Oh 
Chris Miller, this is a star-studded event because think about it. A lot of these people you see here weren't the same faces from last year. We got a lot of new faces. Lots of new faces. Every other car is a new face or a new car. Now, who? Hey, I've got word there's two unauthorized drones in the air. I suggest you remove them before I use the power of Professor Xavier and show you my mental abilities. So if you would please remove the drones from the airspace or I will call the FAA and have them drone strike your drones. Everybody, I'd like to introduce to you the beautiful young lady who will be singing the national anthem, Miss Sarah. Give her and a round then, of applause. And then next to her, I want to give a best shout out to our technical advisor, holding it down, looking like he has the, the Mike Donald's drive through Tim Canelli, it's your birthday. Yep, I'm putting you on blast. So one, two, three, everybody, we're going to sing happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday to you. You better fix your pulse before I stun you. Happy birthday, Tim Keneal. You're so sexy. Happy birthday to you. I know may, it may be embarrassing to you, Tim, but there's a lot of people who didn't wake up today, and you woke up just to see drifting. So with that being said, somebody going to sing the national anthem. I guess it's going to be Miss Sarah for the one time, correct? Miss Sarah for the one time. <laughs> everybody on your feet. Everybody on your feet. Uh, where's the flag? I don't know. Oh, the flag's over oh, there. Yeah, bet. To Look the left by the K&N sign. <laughs> 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 All
So big round of applause for Miss Sarah. That was amazing. Oh yes, I can hear myself. So we're gonna toss it to ACS. We have a graphic that we wanna put on real quick. Just a quick little video. All right. So if so if you're watching the if you're watching the live stream, we got something for you guys. If you're and if you're in the crowd and you wanna see it, go on YouTube, look up Hot Pit Auto Fest, and look at the live stream. Hey Drift fam, it's Tiny, your ACS Drift community commentator. And we're here live at Irwindale Speedway, the house of drift, for the first round of Hot Pit Auto Fest. Get ready for a wild ride as multiple drivers are revving up to kick off the season with an absolute bang. We have one of our ACS members that created the virtual layout of Hot Pit Auto Fest and we have Will Holloway, the esports driver and spotter for the Kyle Mohan racing team. This layout is no joke. Picture this, a high speed initiation hugging the first infield wall, hitting a decel zone into a hairpin, leading to an outer zone at the top of the turn, transitioning into another turn with two outer zones, gearing up for the brute power needed to speed into an inner clip. It's a final transition to a long wall ride at the opposite side of the infield. It's pure adrenaline from start to finish. So buckle up, Drift enthusiasts. The House of Drift is about to come alive with the roar of engines, screeching tires, and the spirit of competition. Hot Pit Auto Fest, where the thrill never stops, and we'll see you at the track. Drift enthusiast, Tiny here, back on the mic to tell you all about the ACS Drift community. Not just a community, we're a family of modders, drivers, and content creator with over 49,000 members for Assetto Corsa. 
in our playground of over 250 servers, we're all about having a blast. From grip to toe game, SRP, and especially drifting, we've got it all. It's the place where the thrill never stops. But hey, it's not just about the races and drifts. It's about the community spirit. We love giving back to our members with exciting giveaways and competitions that keep the adrenaline pumping. And guess what? We've teamed up with Hot Pit Auto Fest for the ultimate collaboration. It's a partnership that's making us stronger. But wait, there's more. We're not just local, we're global. Our Discord is the supreme spot where drivers from all over the world come together to share the passion and drive with the pros. So what are you waiting for? Join the ACS Drift community today and be a part of the ultimate driving experience. We'll see you on the track, drifters. And we're All back. Right, and we are back. So, first battle of the top 16, we got Brian Wills and Anton Rykov. They're finally warming up those tires. Lots of smoke coming off of uh, Brian Wills' car already. Uh, the track is dry. It is dry now, and we are looking for it. We're going to see some real tight proximity, real aggressive battles here from here on out. The track is dry. The track is dry. There, uh, yep, the track is dry. We have been waiting all day. The weather has played a good factor. And now it's time to get to some business. I gotta fix the blinds, Gary. Raise the blinds. The sun has hit its way behind the clouds as we prepare for the top 16 battle. Thank you everybody for coming and for sticking around. And for those who left, thank you for showing up. It meant a lot to us. But now it's time to get to business, Chris Moore. Yes, it is. Right you are. Pow, right in the key right, So Anton Rykov in the lead position in that red E46. Brian Wills in the blue S14 in chase. And they're off. Oh. oh, a little small lack of angle there, but fixing it is Anton Rykov. See, now this corner is not going to be so detrimental anymore. Oh, and Brian Will shuts it down. Oh, Anton Rykov Sounds like it, make, it looks like a mechanical issue. Could be, but the best thing is he didn't run into the wall. He was able to drive off the track. As Anton Rykov goes into that last outer zone, all he has to do is sail it away. And he's on that chalk line. Perfect. Yeah, going out of his own just like he needs to, completing the lap. So he's going to get points for that run. Not sure what happened with Brian Wills there, but uh, 
That's going to be a zero for Brian Wills. Maybe some mechanical issues. Somebody check on him if you can. That's got to be a not so good feeling coming from that high of a, I mean, a position. The first event, you take out the, the number one qualifier, and then, you know, it's looking now like he, he succumbed to some type of uh, mechanical issue. Bro, did you know Dustin Farrell had a whole new car? That was a red, like, S14.5. Yeah. I thought it was, like, this whole time I thought he was in a 13 again. Like, no, 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 that's a new car. Yeah. And he, like, he leveled up. Yeah, yeah. Which is, which is so, crazy to think, because I didn't even notice it until I saw him driving in the pits. Thank you, everybody, who came to the driver signing. That was nice. It was good to see a good crowd of people, because there's a lot of drivers that are new here that have never been experienced that kind of love before, you know? Yep. Uh, as we sit here and wait to see what exactly is going on. Yeah, this, uh, oh, man. He's limping, he looks like he's limping out, limping away. He's just limp and it's something, something, yeah, something's up with that. PCS Drift Community. Not just a community, we're a family of modders, drivers, and content creator with over 49,000 members for Assetto Corsa. In our playground of over 250 servers, we're all about having a blast. From grip to tow gate, SRP, and especially drifting, we've got it all. It's the place where the thrill never stops. But hey, it's not just about the races and drifts. It's about the community spirit. We love giving back to our members with exciting giveaways and competitions that keep the adrenaline pumping. And guess what? We team up with Hot Pit Auto Fest for the ultimate collaboration. It's a partnership that's making us stronger. But wait, there's more. We're not just local, we're global. Our Discord is the supreme spot where drivers from all over the world come together to share the passion and drive with the pros. So what are you waiting for? Join the ACS Drift community today and be a part of the ultimate driving experience. We'll see you on the track, drifters. My name is Johnny from Nitro Supply, located in Huntington Beach, and we're super excited to be an official sponsor of Hot Pit Auto Fest. If your project car struggles to merge onto the freeway, we have just a solution for you. With full kits starting at $3.99 and refills at $5 a pound, you'll be sure to have that extra pep in your pedal and still have enough gas money to get home. We provide easy access to all the parts and services you need, including refills, solenoid testing, and manifold plumbing. So give us a call, stop on by, and check us out on Instagram.
this and suck it in. Hey, it's just hey, a hey. day. Do it. 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 He's out there having Hopefully a blast. There's way too many cameras around for that. Actually, it's, this is a strange looking battle. Two Corvettes side by side it looks strange. Because you look at one Corvette, it looks like a Corvette. And you look at the other Corvette, it's like, is this a drift car too? Yeah. <laughs> which one do you like? Which one do you like better? Uh, the one would be like no bias on 55th Street. I like I like the Phoenix car. It's, Not that it's, I'm more hot boy. Huh? Yeah, it's, it, it appeals more to me. Like Josh Stewart's car, I like the green, but it's like it needs more green. Yeah. I think they're both cool looking cars. Josh Stewart's car is slammed too. That's oh, it is. Oh yeah. So Cyril Westwood, big good good comment there on that uh, on the tire size thing. You, you it was a commercial break, but uh, I was agreeing with you over the two sixty five. Keeping it fair. I think that's Cyril. 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 Our cousin's name's Cyril. So I remember once he got jumped in the skate. Sorry park. if I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> and someone was like, Cyril just beat up Cyril. I was like, no, you didn't get your boys jumped on me. All right, so we got them lined up. I think we're gonna send the cars. Who will lead and who will follow? We got uh, we got Josh Stewart in the lead position. Luke Fink is in the chase in the blue Corvette. It's crazy to see like the differences, like you know, like Corvette being the next chassis. How many body kits and variations we get? I'm just waiting for like a J-Spec body kit. And they are off. Josh Stewart out front. Luke Fink anticipating a flick, throws it in. Beautiful, beautiful. A left foot break from Josh Stewart. Luke Fink is not giving him room to even breathe. He's thinking about what he's going to eat for dinner tonight as they go into that second, or that's like, yep, the third, third transition. Third out of zone. Right here, I think maybe Luke Fink's a little less on power so he can straighten up and then get into that door. So right here in that last outer zone, Luke Fink not getting lost in the smoke, but Josh Stewart is putting a little bit of distance on him. So, do we know if Luke Fink is in the slower car, or are they both? Uh, Luke, I want to say it's safe to say Luke Fink has a stock Corvette. Yeah, so for and, sure. And Josh Stewart's car is not it's, stock. It's not stock. Okay. But at the same time, like as we sit here and watch, like to comp, like to, he is not flicking because he needs all the speed he can get exactly. to carry that momentum. Yeah. So I guess for Luke Fink right here is the precision game. It's not yeah. so much speed. So as long as he can keep his, now he can control the scenario. If he can keep the angle like he did uh, driving against him as he leads, I think he, he could probably do it. Yeah, he could squeak it out. The thing is, he's got the control. He's got the, you know, the, the car works great. He just, he need, if he had a little more power, he could probably put it on him. I mean, he could probably hang, hang it out just a little bit more on the track. But I feel like uh, he's got enough power to do what he needs to do. Yeah, had this That's been the sure. wet, had this been raining again, then it would be a whole different scenario. We had, again, they both got this far, so it's like, let's see how far they can go after this, and they're off. All right, so Luke Fink will lead. Josh Stewart in the chase position. A big fan entry from Luke Fink, right into that outer zone. And he Josh controls. Stewart hot on the door. The whole outer zone is that they go into that second outer zone, and just he's just connecting the zone. Yeah, Luke Fink just pouring on the angle, a little tiny bit shallow in that outer zone, but still manages to get there, fully filling the third outer zone. And lots of smoke coming off of Luke Fink's car. There's that elongated transition for the slower car that you're talking about. Yes, right? yes. It's straighter than, than a car with a thousand horsepower, but he makes it, makes it happen. The one thing I still in that zone. Is the Luke one Fink. thing I can say about Luke, he did all the zones. Unlike Josh, when when Luke followed Josh, he did the zones with Josh, even yes. though he fell behind. Yes. And that's, when, what, that's what you want to do yeah. as a chase driver in, in a professional event like this. Is, you want to mimic the lead driver's line as best as you can, but you also want to hit those outer zones if possible. You know, you don't want to uh, mimic the line ten feet off. You want to mimic the line that they're on. So. And if everybody were referring, what are we talking about zones? If you notice on each major section of the turns, there's like this nice layout. You can see like bordering where the chalk line is. Chalk so those squares. Are, those giant square, long squares are these zones that we are looking for. So the way the judges look is if your car is in that zone and at full angle with the speed, speed proximity and angle, right? Yeah. is what they're basing upon. So Luke Fink was able to do all the zones, but Josh Stewart was able to put some distance on, on his yeah, on his lead yeah. runs. So we'll have to see what the judges think of that. Do they go for the more technical? Or do they go for the big, uh, big power, big battles? 
that's that's hard to say. Uh, they are still deliberating because there's yet to be any updates on this here. Uh, this here chart. As we sit and wait, it was it's been a nice day so far. It feels like I'm looking at a Microsoft Office background when I look up in the sky. I'm waiting for the clouds to open and Goku to come down and do a command may on somebody. So I think we have a winner. Winner, winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. What's the chat thing? I see everybody in the chat going off. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Do we have any Australians in the building outside of Luke Fink? I think Luke Fink is the only Aussie here. All right, so the judges have deliberated. We do have a winner. Uh oh. And your winner is. Luke Fink gets the win! There we go. I guess filling out those zones, that's that's what makes the major difference. And we Luke can see that. Luke Fink gets the win, and that's what it is. Oh, he's gonna throw it out with a 360! Right? That boy, big ball. So Luke down. Fink all the way from Straya, his first uh, top 16 battle, and he is moving on that man to the is great hype. eight. Shout out to. Where's is, is John? Is Jeff here? Jeff Jones, you in here? Oh. What made you feed us those hot dogs? Those, where'd you get those hot dogs, Jeff? Oh, that's from Irwindale. You should have got some ballpark franks, buddy. All right, so one battle down in the top 16. So we're, it's looking like we got uh, Sam McMoomy and Elliot Bright lining up here. Look, yeah. For everybody that doesn't know, Luke Fink got okay, the so win. For the, for the, for the uh, live stream, Luke Fink gets the win. Luke Fink gets the win. Sam All right, McMoomy. so Sam McMoomy out front. Elliot Bright, give me chase. Lots of smoke. Lot, and I mean a lot of smoke from Sam Magmumi. A lot of left foot breaking. Right into the outer zone perfectly. I think that's a good strategy right there, going a little slow off of the bank. Ooh. Oh, and Luke, Elliot Bright overshoots it. I'm not sure if that was a diesel zone or not. Dang, he's going to miss that whole outer zone, but too. He's sacrificing. But he, he, he's paying for it now. And we, we, the judges are going to have to tell us whose fault that was because I can't tell you. So I, th I think right now for, for Elliot, if Sam messes up on his lead, then he'll probably go one more time. But I don't see that happening. Yeah, I don't know. That was a good, that seemed to me that was almost a textbook run from Sam McMoomy. A lot of left foot breaking. I'm not sure how that's going to you know, come into play with the judging. But a beautiful run. Smoke from start to finish. It was like he was drawing a smoke line through the whole track. Oh, and he just hit the dip. Ooh. Yeah, that makes your car spark if you drive. Did he go through the water? Yeah. Okay, smart move. So if people don't know, when they drive through that water, it's a little kind of cheat code to preserve tire. Yeah, he just cooled the tire. Yes. So drivers, if you see that puddle in the middle, I saw Chelsea and Vaughn do it, like I said, a few years ago, which is smart because there's nothing against the rule book saying you can't do that. Yeah, why not, huh? If nature gives you a handicap, you use it. Life gives you lemons. Make beef stew. Make beef stew. All right, so Elliot Bright is in the lead position. Sam McMoomy in the chase. I'm gonna switch it up here. I got trees on my head, but don't call me a tree head. Bees on my head, but don't call me a bee head. Bruce Lee's on my head, but don't call me a lee head. Now please excuse me, I got to shit my, uh, get my tree fed. Shout out to Andy Melanakis, growing up in them MTV days. Did he grow up? Nah, he's got that syndrome where he looks like a child forever. Yeah, all right, so Elliot Bright. Oh, huge fan entry from Elliot Bright. Here we go now, Sam. Oh, that oh, throws see? Sam off. You oh, see? reverse drift from Sam. That's not good. Right there, Elliot can control the situation if he fulfills all those outer zones. If he can connect to this third one smoothly. Okay, there we go, Sam McMoogie. Straightening out a little bit more as they hit this nice little ump and a ump into the last. Uh, what is that zone? That outer outer zone? zone? Ooh, no, oh, no. Contact, contact. What is going on here? Sam pushing a little hard. Elliot not not quite in the outer zone. What on what went on there? Oh, a little bit of a little bit of contact with Rubbins Racing, Gary.
If you ain't rubbing, then you ain't racing. racing. He's going back to Cali. <laughs> All right, so that will be the end of that battle. Hopefully we get a winner out of that. That was a strange one. As they come back around, Sam coming in. Who thinks Elliot got it in the Mustang? What about Sam in the, in the E36? Okay. What you think, Chris Miller? You know, I really can't, I, I couldn't put my hand on that one. Sam with the reverse drift, I'm not sure if it, uh, that was his fault, that's a zero. Um, but he was smoking up the whole track, he had the better lead, so I don't know, we'll have to see. Is that Sam's car? I forget he's driving, driving like a turbo BMW. Yeah, man. yeah. Shout out to Sam, 412 Motoring Sports, or Motorsports out in the valley. Got a shop where he's doing a lot of great builds, and it's good to see like our, one of our homies doing it out there, you know? All right, so we do have a winner, and he's gonna like this one. All right. So your winner is Sam McMovie! I know he's stoked on that. He's had some trials and tribulations here at Hotbed Auto Fest, and uh, seems to be paying off here now. Great eight for Sam. He was. I want to give. I want to give my hat off to Elliot. He Elliot. Did, yeah, not taking nothing away from Elliot. Elliot did great there. I want to say if he had fulfilled that last outer it zone, was, it was the zone. That, that was that was it. Like Elliot, if you're listening, that well, last zone, outer it zone. Was the, it was the dive in here on uh -huh. the, the outer zone three. Okay. He, he overshot that in his chase run, right? And then his lead run, he had a mistake on the outer zone. On the last outer zone, so it's just, it just is what it is at yeah, this point. The stakes kind of added up. And now we got the battle of the orange and black cars. Oh wow! <laughs> Very, what a what a randomly similar right livery. Corvette, Corvette, Mustang E36. Now we got Kyle Mohan versus. Can I copy your homework? And as a <laughs> there will never be another black. Rear end, orange front end, tandem battle again. Unless they do it again at the next hot pit. Unless and, they, unless these two drivers do it again. In Kern County. All right, so Kyle Mohan in that rotary powered Miata in the lead position. Alex Ferreira in the orange Mustang in the chase position. This is what, what's, what's under the hood of the Mustang? Is it built? Is it is it fully built? Is, is he on some Elliott Bright tip? I don't know. I think I, I want to say his car is, is is a little bit more built than Elliott's, but it might be naturally aspirated. Okay. Kyle Mohan definitely not natural naturally aspirated over here. There we go. And listen, to, those two cars are polar opposite sounds. It's crazy to hear. But Alex Ferrer is still on the door, Kyle. Oh! Big hit from Kyle Mohan. Filling that third outer zone. It's little, crazy little, to see. Uh, click tap there. This car is so small that it looks so cute in those outer zones. It's so tiny. He can be in the zone. The whole car can be in the zone. There we go. That's what I want to hear. And that's what you want to see from Hell both yeah. of these drivers, from the chase and the lead. They're not done driving. That's what I want to see. That's what the Give people want to Give it up for Kyle Mohan and Alex Ferreira. So we bring the drivers over here, announce the winner, assuming we have one. No, this is the first run. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the first run. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. You got you to do your right? lead. Right. Now Alex, now Alex will lead and Kyle I'm will tired, follow. I'm tired, Gary. It's Alex been a long day. in the lead position. We're going to switch it up. Kyle Mohan will give chase once we fix those water barriers over there. Luckily, there's no water in there. Thank goodness, because if it was, it would be a catastrophe. Yeah, that would Catastrophic be. failure. That's, Body that panels. That's a long there. What's that, Wilhelm sound? Oh! That's more like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> but this is most likely going to be the most, because everything, uh, everything after this is just V8s and inline sixes. Yeah, you know, so the, we, I, we like to keep Kyle in there for the... Uh, the vi the, the vibration. Yeah, yeah the, the variety. Hot Pit like Auto Fest, banking, diversify your drifting portfolio. <laughs> All right, track's clear. And we're 
going to see how that little Miata keeps up behind that big old Mustang. And I think it's going to do just fine. Go, little rock star. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kyle. Ooh, putting a little distance on Kyle. I venture to say the Mustang's not stopped here. Oh, no. Oh, just missing the outer zone. There you go. So missing the first half of the outer zone and then fixes it is, uh... Yeah, Alex Fernandez have, kind of having an issue staying in the zone. Okay, so now this one he's going to fill the entire zone. Damn. Smoking to Kyle Mohan's face. Now this... Oh! Oh, and a huge angle. Real big throw, but it, it, it works against him. It works not in his favor, keeping him out of the zone. That's going to be kind of tough because um, they were both kind of spotty on both their runs. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I want to say that that uh, Kyle Mohan did a slightly better job of, of being in the zone, although he had the bigger mistake in the, uh, in the lead position. Do you think that chassis hurts him for drifting? Like, had that rotary engine being like an S chassis, and the way it's set up, or even a rotary and a BMW. I will say this. I love that he, Kyle Mohan is a purist of the rotary. I don't love that he's a purist of Mazda. I'm a Mazda guy. They're horrible. It's a small company compared to somebody like Honda, Toyota, Nissan. Mazda's small compared to them. True. They, they don't have the engineers. We didn't, we didn't, Mazda never made a GTR. That's true. They got real lucky with the FD. Yes. And then they made the RX-8. But what is what is the Achilles heel of the Mazda though? Like even with the S chassis, that favors that the, the S Achilles, chassis. The Achilles heel of Mazda would will forever be the their engineering. It's their not exactly known to be the best engineers. They, 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 made, they made the rotary infamous. As we right, wait so for the winners. Seems like we got a oh, it looks like we got an answer for this. Uh oh. Not sure if we got a winner yet. So. We got uh, one more time between more. Alex Ferreira and Kyle Mohan. I figured that would happen. I figured that because it was it was it was both inconsistent. Yeah, it was, it was mistakes on both ends. So All, one more time makes sense in this. Uh, I think the best thing is just if you if you just worry about filling those zones. You gotta fill the outer zones. You gotta stay clean. Yes. Keep it sideways. And get the points. Not not that any. Not that either of these drivers can't do it. They've been driving all day in the wet, so now it's kind of like they kind of got to get used back to driving in the dry. I almost wonder if they should get a little sight lamp in the dry. Huh? Nah, those. Bro, I'm burping up hot dog now. Yeah. All right, so we're going to move on to the next battle. The next battle is going to be Rome Charpentier, Charpentier versus Logan Hunter. Logan Hunter. Open your ears and listen to this beamer. Listen to that one series. It sounds insane. Open your eyes, look up to the sky, yeah. All right, Gary. What are you singing to today, huh? Just random song, because every time you say something, random songs pop into my head. <laughs> I'm just a poor boy. <laughs> Bro, they got a beat Bro, because the sun was beaming on my big old forehead. It was do? warm earlier. All right, so tires are getting warmed up. We're going to line these drivers up. Not sure who's going to be in the lead position. It's looking like Shrome might be in the lead position. Who, who registered I mean, qualified higher? I'm not sure. Rome, Rome, so Rome should yeah, lead. I believe Rome's going to be in the lead. And uh, we are correct. So what what are the odds that a new guy comes in here and takes out Rome for the for the for the spot in the grade eight? What do you think? Remember when Josh Mason just came here and started oh, yeah. molly whopping people? Oh, yeah. Remember when we had our first hot pit auto fest and the dude in a like, carbon fiber Corvette knocked out Forrest Wayne Dread. and then never came with <laughs> Rome and Logan, Logan Hunter go. not too far behind. Logan Hunter says, I am not no buster. I do want what you want is to win. And you see how smoothly they're filling out those zones and that the buttery transition. Oh, that's nice how transition you do Logan. it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Can they get that last outer zone? That's what makes it or breaks these guys. Well, I know Rome will get in there. Okay, that's. Logan stay with him. So right there, Logan is low. Logan is low. Low Logan. So 
That's what I'm talking about. Give it up for these drivers. That was a battle right there. Stomp your feet and clap your hands. Stomp your hands and clap your feet. All right, so Logan Hunter's going to give his lead. You know what You know what I like about battles like that? Uh, it's particularly like that car that Logan Hunter's driving right there is I like when you can see the grip, the mechanical grip. In the yes. Car. He's behind Rome, diving in three feet at a time, three feet back it up, two feet, diving in four feet. Just the fact that he's able to... to play with the, the you know the grip like that and yes stay behind, uh, stay behind Rome it's, but it's, it's, it's super fun to watch it's crazy to think like these are rolling burnouts but the car can grip up while oh, yeah, it's slipping yeah, yeah. there's a there's a, a, a large amount of grip involved in these cars being sideways just because they're sideways it looks like they're slipping around no there's a ton of grip involved in this even on these little 265 300 treadwork tires and then it goes back to what we said earlier, like when you when we were building sketchy ramps when we were kids, like these don't kid that these drifters don't know that there are modern day engineers trying to figure out how do I get mechanical grip out of a car that's drifting. Yep. There's so many angles and arms and everything that go into these cars that that play a major Especially part. BMW. They got arms that you don't need. Exactly. They made some extra arms to put in there. Hey. Track staff is going to need a massage and a foot rub after this one. They are stressing. So somebody said, did LZ go yet? Wrong, wrong stream, buddy. <laughs> wrong stream. LZ did not go yet. He did not show LZ up today. Did, uh, he did run. Oh, no, he didn't run. Uh, he does, uh, he does, uh, well, he yeah, yeah, LZ Invitational. LZ World, uh, That's LZ right. LZ yeah. World Tour. LZ World Tour. LZ, invite us to your world tour. We'll announce for you. We'll oh, show you how to LZ get it done. LZ Hot Pit Tour. LZ Hot Pit Tour. Yeah. Hot Pit versus LZ. Hot Pit versus LZ. So, second half of the battle. Logan Hunter is going to give a uh, lead this time. Rome is going to chase. Now, I wonder if that was that the, the fact that Logan was diving in like that. I wonder if that's because he has the faster car or if he was literally, you know, if his car makes that much grip. Probably. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Nice little faint entry from Logan Hunter. Rome is hot on his tail, so it, it, if he does have the faster car, Rome's able to, to keep proximity just as close as he was. Maybe not as close, but it's still there. A lot smoother of a chase from Rome, but uh, doesn't have to quite have the proximity that uh, Logan did. Logan hit every Logan cone in the world. Logan real deep in that zone. Now, this is that last part. Logan did not touch any of the zone. If Rome can, like, yep, there we so go. Rome's right with Logan. He's in the zone as well. Proximity is perfect. That was beautiful. That beautiful was for beautiful. both drivers. Beautiful for both drivers. Let's give it up for Logan. Oh, and he's not oh, there. Yeah. He wants to run the big thing. Hey, oh, he oh, said, oh, hey, I'm out of here. <laughs> that boy hot dogging. That's what I want to see. And the crowd loves it, but the track imagine, officials probably don't. Imagine if he was just sleeping in the truck. <laughs> uh, as hell but you are not allowed to do that damn they are chewing him out up here logan uh respectfully that shit was tight but do not do it again yeah we can't have that i know that i know that the the, the fans love it we yeah. love it too i'm a fan too but we got to keep the track safe stream froze uh oh the stream is frozen okay Yafjons, please report to the office. All right. So, uh, do we have a? Do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? I think we do. Where, where's Rome going? Oh, I forgot. They're lining up somewhere else now. Ooh. All right. So, and your winner is. We don't got a winner yet. It shows on the screen. It shows on the screen. Oh, it shows on the screen. On the live stream. And your winner is Rome Charpentier.
give it up for Logan Hunter as well. He's a new face around here, and he just threw down one of the best. I think he's going to be a problem this year. Oh, yeah. That boy going to be a problem. That boy was feeling himself. Yeah, he was. He was doing great, too. I'd do the same thing, honestly. I ain't got nothing to lose. I'm going home anyway. You know, if you feel me. All right, so the next battle is going to be Jason Kim and Dino Child. Jason Kim versus Dino Child. Jason Kim, Dino Child, where are you guys? They're in the back, cuddling. So for people in the stream that missed it, I'll, I, will, I will give you a play-by-play -play when, the, when the run ended. Uh, Mr. What's his name? Logan went and did the pro bank with two three, tow trucks. Three, 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 three uh, one emergency response, two tow trucks there. And what's easy? But nevertheless, um, a safety issue, it's you always know if, if something could go wrong, it will go wrong. So for the slight chances, Will came off, he would have ran into a tow truck. And then who's going to tow the tow truck? Yeah. Put us in quite the predicament. Right? You put uh, your, got the gatekeeper and Dino Child warming up those tires. If Jason Kim makes it out of this, then he can make it. Yeah, I mean, he'd be in the grade eight after this. Somebody says, Jacob, Jason secretly loves SR20s. <laughs> Chris, what is the, what the f factuation with SR20s? Why are they God's motors, allegedly? SR20s? I'm not sure. They sound real cool. You get a, a, a top mount manifold, a like manifold, something like that. Mm -hmm. It sounds real cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so Jason Kim in the chase position, I mean, the lead position, Dino Child and Chase, but we got to get them headlights on. Jason? Jason, turn your headlights on. If you got any. I believe we're ready to send these cars. Jason Kim out there in front. Dino Child in the chase. Shout and out to Jason Kim. Here we go. All right. They're off. Jason Kim in the lead. Dino Childs will follow. As they hit that first bank. One in the zone. Oh, Dino Childs falls a little shallow of the zone as Jason Kim goes into the second zone as he fulfills that one barely. Dino Childs, not at all. Jason Kim for the third one. Dino Childs, guess what? Not at all again. Dino Childs is really lacking in those zones. He needs to get it out there a couple more feet, at least three, four more feet. Now Jason Kim will barely, as he taps that, Dino Childs finally gets into the zone. And Jason Kim looking good. Dino Childs looking a little. I've seen Dino. I've seen better from Dino. I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm but not I, really sure what happened there. He just didn't really hit any outer zones till the very last one. I think it's a, it's a combination. Like, you're driving and you're trying to keep up. So you have to figure he's trying to get in those zones, and sometimes you just can't hit all the way you want. Uh, no, Jason Kim actually has Popeyes as a sponsor. So in the chat, Popeyes is one of the sponsors of Jason Kim, a local Popeyes franchise. Shout out to my boy. He has sponsored me as well. I can't wait to get my 12-piece family meal to myself. I'm gonna cover it in honey and play Sweet Home Alabama in my house while I play Guitar Hero in my underwear. Playing Guitar Hero in your underwear sounds, uh, that sounds like a vibe. It is a vibe. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, you ever just been at the house being, like when you're at the house, just at the house. At the house like, like house? Bill, bills are paid, you got food, Dino Childs will lead. Jason Kim will follow. Dino Childs in the faster car, I believe. But uh, still missing that outer zone. And it, it, this is his lead. This is his lead. Uh, he's in the lead position. All Jason Kim has to really do is just hit one zone. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, now uh, he's filling the zone. Okay, now this is where Jason Kim follows the zone. There we go. Uh, ooh, this is Dino Child really actually filling that outer zone. And he's going to transition. Ooh, nice little fat transition into the last outer zone. Doesn't get it. Jason Kim straightens out. Dino Child hitting that last outer zone. I'm going to say, for the sake of saying, this is probably going to need it one more time. You think so? Um, it was both kind of sloppy. It wasn't the best run for my driver. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't so the it best was, performance. Decent, but, you know, again, they were practicing in the wet and, you know. But at the same time. Lots of factors. There is lots of factors. But at the same time, I'm not a judge. I'm a commentator. I don't see what they see. So, uh, 
Judges deliberating. We got one judge locked in. Jamie Vargas, you better calm down in the stream right now. Says I'm gonna cover you in honey. <laughs> I don't mind, but there's not enough uh, zest soap to get it off of me. And he's gone. I actually use uh, what is it? Old Spice Captain. Old Spice Captain. That joint smells nice. Make me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we do have a winner. I don't know what the, the hell's going on here. Well, we do have a winner. Yes. Jason Kim! Congratulations, Jason Kim. Jason Kim moves on to the grade eight. It's, it's good to hear people rooting for Jason. I know it is. Shout out to Jason. He made the knuckles for my 34. That helped me link balcony. Dino Jason. Child. Give it up for Dino Child for giving his all. I like I like how he kept just his little couple zaps, and I'll, I'll get, I'll get on the You know what? These tires were expensive. I'm going to do just half a dollar. Right? He still got Vegas drift events to go to. That's true. You trying to drive Vegas Drift this year, Chris Miller? Uh, no. If we can facilitate the transportation to you to get yes. there, I'll make a phone call. <laughs> Somebody said, boo, let's go. ABS track repair. Yeah, somebody said, hey, yo, calm down in the chat. They are getting ruthless. All right, so I believe uh, we're going to go back to the one more time battle between uh, Kyle Mohan and Alexander Ferreira. Uh, we're going to revisit that battle, and then we're going to uh, keep the top 16 rolling. You watch wrestling, Chris Miller? What's that? Do you keep up with wrestling? No. Uh, I'd like to let you know, as a wrestling fan, The Rock has returned as The Rock. So the old school eyebrow raising velour short rock is back right okay, now. I did used to watch that. Yeah, so that, that he, insulting people. And he has now acknowledged Roman Reigns as the tribal chief. This is just a bunch of malarkey to you, but I still believe wrestling is cool as an adult. And I will still root for my favorite wrestler. It's still root me, dude. It's still root me. Listen, nothing like a big sweaty man pretending to be a re another sweaty man, but it's a level of uh, entertainment that I do enjoy. Any wrestling fans in the house? Just me. Nope, just you. <laughs> Anybody, any Bakugan fans in the house? It's all good. I'll keep my nerdy black self to myself. Thank you. That we don't. Wrong you are, gang. Wrong I am. Back to the cave dwelling I go where I'll watch Cody Rhodes pretend to be the next best thing. All right, so Kyle Mohan's going to lead for us. Alex will give chase. The two... It's a, it's a miracle they're matching cars. It's so weird. It, it is. Is this the headlights well, changing color? It's a different orange for sure. No, they're just real bright. Oh. That's your, that's your pupils melting. Oh, no, they're changing colors. Oh, there we go. Both in the zone, but then Alex right, so falls Alex short falls of the zone. On, yeah, falling a little out of his zone. Kyle, kind of kind of jumping. He kind of did some bunny hops right there. Below, just a little bit. His own. But I he do like. He to grip up a lot, and then he jumps in and dump the clutch and gets out of there. And uh, I think it's the chassis that has him do that because it's like you either grip it up or there we go. And really nice run here from Kyle Mohan. Yeah, that was clean. That was nice. That was nice. But now so Alex has got to Alex has got to keep it real clean and he's got to hit that that uh, that outer zone. I could imagine how nerve wracking that is knowing like you get a second chance and you can't mess it up. Well, it's got to it's got to be weird too to have three thousand decibels in your ear when you're trying to chase somebody. You know, if you're behind Kyle Mohan's car and he's wide open on on the rev limiter, like that's got to sound crazy even with the helmet on. It's crazy to think like I think about everybody who has engine trouble. I've never heard of Kyle having engine trouble. It'll be like, oh, Kyle messed up because false oh, start. Oh, I'll tell you a secret about rotary people. Okay? okay. Like I'm a rotary guy myself. Yes, sir. Um, sometimes you know. Sometimes you blow your engine and build and rebuild it secretly in the garage. Don't tell nobody because then it, it's embarrassing that you're a rotary guy. Mm. So you just lie and say, I've only blown it four times, but it's been eight. I understand that. You know? yeah. Performance anxiety, it happens. Yeah, I'd be like that, so. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. I don't understand reference, but right you are. Well, you know. The band? 
Yeah, well, you're in the band. Oh, 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 yeah, okay, Pep, I, I feel you. <laughs> I was like, my brain was off. I'm thinking about drifting. Yeah, all right, so Alex will give us the lead. Big freaky in this room. <laughs> it's getting hot. <laughs> Kyle screaming from behind. That Kyle's, Kyle, Kyle's doing a bit of a better job of filling the zone, not as close as he could be, but doing a great job filling the outer zone while staying in the chase position. He's diving in a little hard here. So right here, this might hurt him because now he has to play catch up. But I think Kyle's setting up to get to that last outer zone. Yep. Fire coming out of there everywhere. There we go. There we go. That boy laying on that smoke. Big old fireball for Kyle Vaughn. I hope that wasn't an apex to you. The scary thing about rotary stick, because I, I have a hood dump waste gate like that on my RX-7. Uh -huh. The scary thing is when you start bouncing off a limiter or something, it shoots fireballs, and sometimes you see sparks coming out of it. And I'm like, I hope that's not pieces of engine, you know? <laughs> Molten metal. I've, just... I've done so many burnouts and then done compression tests the next day because I could have swore pieces of apex seal flew out. Are apex seals metal? Yes. Okay. It's a metal on metal seal. Ah. And then use a real thin microscopic layer of oil. That's why you premix, or you, or it, it, you know, if you don't premix, the talk engines come with a metering oil pump that will pump oil into the compression. Uh huh. Yeah. That you see, thank you. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it keeps a real thin film of oil between the apex seal and the rotor housing, so it doesn't scrape. But it scrapes. Okay. Kind of like a piston ring. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we may have a winner for this one finally, and we do. Kyle Mohan gets the win. Good job, Kyle. Mike Barbosa in the chat. Shout out my boy Mike Barbosa. Hey, Mike Barbosa, that's a rotary guy too. Yeah, that's my. He's he's built. He, I know. I know Mike Barbosa. Only dude I know with the RX-8 with the 13B swap. Yeah, I know. But we, it's, the, it's the only thing you can do to the thing. What what comes in the 22? It comes with the 13B Renesis 13B though. So What's that mean? It's got multiple side ports. It doesn't have it doesn't have the exhaust housing. It doesn't have the exhaust ports on the rotor housing. Okay. It has exhaust uh, ports on the. Uh, on the irons, so they're, they're side port. It's weird. It, it so it's an, is it, it's not. It, it made no sense horrible, to make it. Bad engine makes no torque. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next battle, and the next battle is another one more time, I believe. No. Nope. Oh no, this is Margaritas, Casanides, and Jackson Orr. Jackson Orr in the Drift Alliance S13. Yeah, in the and I want Forsberg you to, Mobile. The app car makes 380 horsepower versus yeah. Margaritas that damn near makes double the horsepower. It's not about how much power you make in a track like this and in an event like this. Like I said, we're, we're limited to 260, two, 265 tires, 300 treadwear tires, so 380 seems like the perfect power for me. He might, he might not make as much smoke, but he will grip up. Well, yeah. there we go. So Margaritas with a high angle faint entry. And locks it into the outer zone. I think Oro Compens, uh, he will give up this zone to get into the next zone, or maybe the next zone after compromise, that zone. Compromise a little bit of zone for yes. speed, right? Like, here we go. Now he's in this zone, so now his only option is to try to go straight through here and then hit that next zone and hopefully fulfill that one. There we go. So a bit of an uneven battle here with the, with the E46 making a ton of power out front. It's going to be a little different, though, if Jackson Orr in the lead position. His car's slower. Margarita's is going to have to tame that, tame that thing down to keep it behind him. Uh, that tends to work against you a good amount of the time. Yes. It's almost like, remember the revisit of Sam McMoogie versus Spencer. Yes. Spencer in a stock BMW. Mind you, no windows. No dang near, no body panels. Just everything was stock. Yep. All right, so... We are going to hit the second half of that battle. Jackson Orr in the slower car, but he's got a team behind him. I mean, a slower car, but you got Forsberg on your team. I mean, yes. You got to, you, gotta, you know, that's got to count for something. But at the same time, there's only so much advice you could do where, then when it comes to driving. You know, and, and we talk about this a lot, but we, we, we defer to the skate park a lot. For, yes. For, for, uh, um, reference. For reference, right? So at the skate park, right, you notice that when you were, kids that hang out with the kids that suck tend to suck. Yeah. And then the guy that, hey, maybe this guy's only been skating for six months, but he hangs out with the pros, gets pretty good pretty quick. Yes, exactly. You know, so we'll see Jackson Orr out front. Not really hitting that zone, but maybe he's just trying to build speed. He's going to grab it right there at the end. It just, it just, it just hurts not to see him fill those zones, but it's, 
he's trying to work with what he's got, though. I mean, he's already pretty far into the competition with 380 horsepower. He's That's doing, what I'm saying. Very well for himself. So right here, as long as he, I feel like as long as he hits the zone, he be cooking. And last outer zone, Jackson Orr. Filling that last outer zone, completing off a lap. Nice clean run from Jackson Orr and a beautiful chase from uh, Margarita's Katsuni. Look at all the smoke from that chase, I mean from the, yeah, from the chase. It's cool to see it linger on with the weather happening, so hopefully um, we can pretty much determine how this went. But the cool thing is, have a winner for this battle already. All right, so before we announce the winner, give it up for both of these drivers. Give it up for Marguerite. Give it up for Jackson. They don't. And your, uh, your winner is Margaritas Catsonides. Margaritas Catsonides. Moving on to the top eight. Hustle, hustle. Shout out, Jackson Orr. Thank you for coming out. First round at Hot Pit Auto Fest. And I hope it's not his last. It'll be great to see him out more because we do have different layouts and Great different driver, tracks. Sure. So it may cater, sometimes some of the layouts cater to more, uh, less horsepower yeah. cars. Because that's also a thing, just because, like you said, the power, the tread wear, and the layout do matter. If this was the FD layout, then it would be a, it would be a, whole, uh, yeah, it would be a horrible game. time for a lot of guys making no power, because even trying to get through that bank, think about it, you got to damn near get to fourth gear now just to make the power. Exactly. But now you're in the inner field, which is so people that don't know, the infield is what you see now. The outfield would be the bank that Logan did before. Yeah. So usually the FD layout would be the outer bank, the outer bank where the trucks are into the inner bank transitioning. But at that point, they are moving at a speed that is ungodly yeah, almost. 60, 70 miles an hour. It's crazy to think these dudes, like, I drive 70 miles an hour on the freeway, I'm like, damn, this is kind of fast, or 80. I remember back in like, what was the top speed, like 110 somebody got up to before they hit the bank. Now we got Nima Voss versus Pablo Cabrera. Pablo Cabrera out front. Hits the outer zone, just getting to that outer zone. That's better. It looks like he just got one tire in there, but he's yeah, still but in he, there. he dialed it in. And Nima Voss, oh, with a little light flash, playing Car X. <laughs> as they both fulfill that third outer zone as they come to the Shim Sham Wim Wham and they will hit that last outer zone. Pablo Cabrera looking a lot more poised right now. And he will round out that lap in a beautiful fashion, Pablo Cabrera. Uh, up north. North, Nima Voss from the, I believe, uh, what's that, the up north area? Up north Fremont, area. Fremont, he's from Fremont. Fremont. Fremont, yes. Yeah. I have to think about it. There's so many like little towns in California that you forget. Just even up north, like think about from San Jose, Vacaville, Oakland, just from that area, like everything, East Oakland. Yeah. Just like Los, here in Los Angeles, Long Beach, Bellflower, Whittier, La Puente, El Monte, West Covina, Covina, Hawthorne, Inglewood. Shout out to Lex King. He is in the vlog right now. Lex King, a NorCal native and legend. One of the very few people that I know drive a rotary engine as well, him and his son. I hope you're safe up there. I look forward to seeing you this year at Winter Jam and sooner. Hey. Yes. You want to talk about the drivers that are about to drive? Who's driving right now? Nima Voss and Pablo Cabrera. So Nima Voss will lead and Pablo Cabrera will follow. Hopefully Nima can clean up his act. Now that his lights are off, a little flick right there into oh, the first out. Nima Voss has got oh, a little uh, weird bobble there. Just a little bit. Nima Voss still, remember, he's only driven this on the simulator to real life till now. So coming so, in. So Nima Voss came from Sim Driver. 
no, he came from driving, driving, but he like practices as most drivers oh, do. Oh, you're saying this track? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> looking, looking quite nice. I just want to see him fulfill that last outer zone, and he and does. He does. He gets very in there. Tons nice. of smoke. Good proximity from the wall. But Pablo Cabrera can be a little closer. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm hmm. Just a little bit. I'm not saying I, I, I was. I, I would think it was just a little bit like 50 Cent, mm -hmm. or just, just a little bit. That the 70s song or 80s song. We don't have no intermission music or nothing. We don't have no oh 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 oh. oh. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Yeah, no, that's. <laughs> they try the two different songs. All right, so we're gonna make it official. It's crazy that they, we got like graphics like FD winner goes to. We got a backdrop. Remember when we didn't have a backdrop and a camera? We're trying to be professional. Call this trying to be professional Lift Drift League series. All right, so the judges, are the judges still deliberating? Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, somebody's two stepping. I saw a Tesla two step today. You saw a Tesla two step? He installed the, 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 to the speakers? speakers, the speakers to oh. two step. I said, this is corny. So, what does he do? Just waste battery and then. I, I guess he just turns up the radio. This is me using battery. Yeah, like, look at me. Efficiency. Let's go, uh, EV. <laughs> Alright, so. One of these guys wants it. Jeez Louise. Calm down down there. Sounds like 4th of July. Got, uh, just a couple more things to go through. The judges are, have a lot to look at there between those two runs. Some mistakes, some successes. Hey, yo, what y'all doing back there? I don't. I will focus on drifting and drifting along. We do have a winner. We do, in fact, have a winner. Uh oh. And our winner is. Pablo Cabrera! As we move on to our great eight, it's been a that smooth night so round far. Round off the great eight. Good job, Nima. We appreciate you. What are they doing? All right, we're throwing it to commercial live stream. All right, so we will be hitting that commercial break I just spoke about. Drift Enthusiast, Tiny here, back on the mic to tell you all about the ACS Drift community. Not just a community, we're a family of modders, drivers, and content creator with over 49,000 members for Assetto Corsa. In our playground of over 250 servers, we're all about having a blast. From grip to toge, SRP, and especially drifting, we've got it all. It's the place where the thrill never stops. 
But hey, it's not just about the races and drifts. It's about the community spirit. We love giving back to our members with exciting giveaways and competitions that keep the adrenaline pumping. And guess what? We've teamed up with Hot Pit Auto Fest for the ultimate collaboration. It's a partnership that's making us stronger. But wait, there's more. We're not just local, we're global. Our Discord is the supreme spot where drivers from all over the world come together to share the passion and drive with the pros. So what are you waiting for? Join the ACS Drift community today and be a part of the ultimate driving experience. We'll see you on the track, drifters. All right, guys, we're out here with Logan Hunter. Logan, you are a rookie for the Hot Pit Series piloting a brand new car out here. Could you tell us a little more about your car? Um, yes, this is a S14. It's got an LS3 under the hood. It's got a dog box and an S14 diff welded and drive shaft shop axles and a lot of fun. Awesome. When you started drifting, did you ever think you would be doing a competitive series like Hot Pit? No, not at all. Not at all. I only started drifting about a year and a half ago and wow. it just grew into this. And Logan is the youngest competitor in the Hot Pit series. Logan, you are? 18 years old. 18 years old. Just turned 18 in December. Happy birthday. And going into top 16, you have Rome Sharp and Seer. How are you feeling about that battle? I'm scared for sure, but you know, I'm just going to put on this door and see what happens. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to seeing it. My name is Johnny from Nitro Supply, located in Huntington Beach, and we're super excited to be an official sponsor of Hot Pit Auto Fest. If your project car struggles to merge onto the freeway, we have just a solution for you. With full kits starting at $3.99 and refills at $5 a pound, you'll be sure to have that extra pep in your pedal and still have enough gas money to get home. We provide easy access to all the parts and services you need, including refills, solenoid testing, and manifold plumbing. So give us a call, stop on by, and check us out on Instagram.
going to lead for us, and Luke Fink's going to be back in the chase position. Luke Fink in the top eight in a stock Corvette. Stock Corvette versus Anton Rykoff's fully built. Fully built. Fully built car. But yet again, he took out a faster car by driving. To the, the, the goal for Luke is just, just those zones. Yeah, hit all the zones. Oh! If he had a bumper, he might have touched him there. Luke Fink with the proximity. Oh, a funky, funky line there from Anton Rykoff. This is going to be hard to determine. Sort of, he sort of made it back onto a normal line where he can kind of, you know, uh, salvage the rest of this run. Because right now, remember, the name of the game is you do have to mimic the driver's run, but at the same time, Anton diving so deep, I think Luke would lose speed trying to get those. But yeah. yet again. And Luke Fink diving into the door of the faster car. That's crazy to think. Like, this man literally is a car off the lot. You you know, Chevrolet lot, angle kit, some wheels. Yeah. And hope. And that's, but yet again, that's the car he's been driving for years, too. Drift, uh, what's that, Drift Week? Drift Week. Hyperfest, Grid Life, all of it. And, it's, and it shows it's how much. It's gone viral plenty of times. Oh, yes. That was three, those 360 entries he does. Oh, Backwards entries with the middle finger sticking out. Here. All right, so Luke Fink in the lead. Anton Rykov, he's making his way down. Maybe, maybe making a little pit stop at the, at the pit real quick. Somebody asked for can we get Baby Got Brap the next time uh, Kyle Mohan comes up to the. <laughs> we don't, we unfortunately, due to legality, we will get the stream shut down to copyright and get demonetized. So we will not be playing that song. In the meantime, you can imagine it in your head on Apple Music or Spotify. So maybe, maybe having some technical issues here with Ant for Anton Rykov. Not sure why he's not back to the line yet. He's having some technical difficulties. <sighs> Damn. All right, so uh, unfortunately for Anton Rykov, he broke both his diff and axles there on that run, so he, he's not gonna be able to five minute uh, competition timeout that. That's too difficult of a change there. Uh, Luke Fink's gonna do a solo run and, and uh, Luke Fink will move on to the uh, to the top four. Bro, you know, it's yet again, racing. Like, bro, you had you had that and your diff broke. And you broke your diff and axles. I wanna know how he made it through that lap. Probably broke one axle and the diff shattered. Yeah, the diff, yeah, it must've, he must've just broke it right on Shattered the, those, on the last it, one. It, it sucks. Because yet again, that's one of those those little things. Like sometimes it's like, man, I know I should have replaced that before yeah, this round. Yeah. But hey, Luke, do your, do your give it up for Luke Fink. Give it up for Luke Fink. Smart. Just all you got to do is just drive around, right? You don't have to drift. You're just driving around, looking good. Wave to all right, bye. All right, later, Luke <laughs> Fink. <laughs> Skedaddle. Nothing, right, nothing. That's that's a that's a top four. I can hear in his head. I'm not doing anything. I need to conserve my car. <laughs> I wish we had more Australian. We need an Australian and a British and like a Hindu dude. It's, 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 it's like a Hindi dude. Imagine an Indian dude and I, I want to thank my team hey, for no, my car. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. But it'd just be cool to see the dive. Imagine drifting in India, how diverse that would be. Uh, have you seen it? No. That's why I'm bringing it up. Have you seen Indian drifting from India? I mean, they mostly like, drive those like tuck tuck things. Yeah. That's enough. That's enough. Like, do they drift with the with the turban under the helmet? That be, or do they have a turban on top of their helmet, bro? Stop. All right, I'm gonna stop. I just these are genuine questions. I have I don't have answers to. Well, I think if you put on a helmet, I take the helmet. It doesn't need to be on. Okay. All right, so we got Rome Charpentier. Versus. Oh no, that's that's Sam Magnumi. Sam Magnumi, sorry. Are we that far ahead that we've got this far ahead? <laughs> yeah. Bro, where have I been? I've been here. What? What? Sam Magnumi and Kyle Mohan. When did Kyle Mohan get battle? this far? What have I what have I been smoking? Kyle Mohan's won. I know he has. But in my head, I said I swear he beat the Mustang and then we have more cars, but it's just been No, we're here. We're flowing. We're flowing. 623, we're in the top eight.
Rome and Jason, if you got a hey, Rome and Jason spotters, you, you want to tell Rome and Jason to get ready. Ooh. Oh, right, so, oh almost there making contact, Kyle Mohan. And look at the smoke coming off of Sam's car. I was impressed until he straightened out. That's called strategizing. A lot of left foot breaking coming from Sam. Do you think that's more of a of a of a not cool dude move when you oh. left foot break like that? Well, it could be the fact that he's trying to get real smoky and trying to you know, yeah, put on a good show. It could be that he's trying to um, you know check on check the, the chase driver so they can't chase him as much. You, know? you never really know. It's up to the judges. I just think it looks cool. The judges, what y'all think? Don't answer that question. Y'all don't think. <laughs> I like how the judges' natural instinct is to know what to do. Like they don't have to sit there and psychoanalyze like everything. They're like, like you calculated in your head or something like that. I couldn't do that. The lady? Yep, I figured. That's how I talk. Was that's what my brain is like? My brain is like, Is it? Does he get deducted points for not having his headlights on? Oh, he does. Dang! If you don't got your headlights on, they're gonna ding you. Deducted points for no headlights. Fart in public, straight to jail. Huh? No headlights on, straight to jail. That's crazy. Seat belts are not in uh, in regulation, straight to jail. <laughs> Somebody in the uh, Cody McDonald asked Chris, "Could you twerk, please?" What? Chris. Twerk, please. <laughs> uh, Hurt is not here. Wrong black guy. <laughs> so we, I know we look the same, but not all black people look alike, chat. I'm more of an O.J. Simpson kind of guy. O.J. Simpson? <laughs> well, not like that. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't think the chat's old enough to know who O.J. Simpson is. More of an O.J. Simpson guy. <laughs> Orenthal, James Simpson. All right, so Kyle Mohan is out in front. Sam Mac movie. There we go. Oh, Kyle's nice high and tight on the wall, Sam. Oh, now Kyle's so left much. foot breaking. Hey, taste of his own medicine there. But man. notice how he's filling out those zones, though. Yeah, Sam Kyle was. Is, is literally tracing the line right now. He said, you want to drive pro? I'm going to show you that now, he is Now, he is really put. Look at him. He really, he really yeah. doing that to him. All the zone. Kyle is All in every the zone. Single outer zone, every inch of it. Kyle Mohan must. Give have, it up for Kyle Mohan and Sam McMahon. Kyle Mohan must have like he said. I'm gonna show you who's yeah, real estate said, agent. You know what? You want to see a Formula D driver? I'll right. Said, I'm the one that asked you to twerk in chat. <laughs> I didn't know it was hurt. Yeah, that's hurt. His name is Cody McDonald. Cody McDonald, right? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say anything out of pocket. The fact that he's watching shows you the love. Hurt, if you just don't share the stream, share the love with the people. The real Hurt Life is watching the Hot Pit Auto Fest the, what, live the, stream. The, the fake one. <laughs> well, next a, to the fake one. Oh, oh, Chris Miller. <sighs> I'm going to hold my tongue. Because if I'm going to dish it, That's I got to take it. I got to take it. I got to take it. That's a funny one. All right. Kyle Mohan gets the win. Kyle Mohan is moving on to the four. Kyle Mohan, he's been. Oh, look at that fireball. See, that's why we like rotaries right there. I can't see nothing. That's why we like rotaries right there. The fire is cool. I like fire, 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 yeah. Fire, fire. It's crazy, like most of the guys in this in this final battles are from SoCal. Yeah. So think about it, you see Kyle, you got Sam, Jason, uh, Rome. Rome. Luke Fink, so it'll be Luke Fink versus Kyle Mohan, and then we go to the opposite end of the bracket. We got Jason Kim versus Rome, and then we got Margaritas Cantonesas versus Pablo Cabrera. Yeah. To move on to the four, and I got hurt. 
heartburn. God dang, hot dog. Not the heartburn. And you know what? That was a hot dog. That was a, that was a big wiener. That was. That boy was thick. It was like a pound of hot dog. They gave me the Drake. Yeah. Oh. The hot dog bun was kind of just like cupping the bottom. Right? All right, so Rome Charpentier in the lead position in that marked up bar. Prisma Ooh. Lab livery. Oh, Jason Kim with a little bobble, but he, he managed to actually stay in the zone and it kind of fixed his line a little bit. Now they're going to the nice. Now Jason Kim connecting that second outer zone as they get to the third. Connecting, diving right in, but not hitting all the way into that zone as they come across the Weeble Wobble. And Rome just trying to put the icing on the cake and come into that last outer zone. But Jason is filling it in just a little bit, but just enough Look to Look at Jason it. Kim! Woo! In. Jason Kim's not no chump. Uh, Jason Kim was feeling that run right there. And, it, you know, we've talked about this before, but when you have a good driver in front of you, it makes it easier for you to be able to just That's throw true. down confidently. If you never met Jason Kim, you would never know he was like an orthodontist. <laughs> or owns an orthodontist company. Yeah, doesn't he make like teeth? teeth? Or yeah, he's like a teeth maker. He's like, he's like, what's that one movie, Silence of the Wolves or something? Silence of the Lambs. Oh, the yeah, he just because the, 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 the bone collector. <coughs> Man, have you heard Rome's car? What motor is in there? Some BMW. Can't be an M54. <coughs> Unless that's just what it sounds like. I don't know. It sounds crazy to me. <coughs> So I see Pablo Cabrera and Margaritis, I believe. <clears throat> is that? No, we still got, they still got it. Uh, Jason has to lead and Rome has to no, follow. No, I know. I just see them back there. Oh, I'm yeah, saying. that's the next that's battle. Warming up. And, then these, and then after these two battles, then we move on to the four, yeah. then the three, then the one. One shall stand and one shall fall. All right, so Jason Kim got a headlight to turn on. That's cool. Fix a ticket deduction. Does the yellow headlights help with the smoke? Is it just like like when you drive in the fog? Right. You good? Jason Kim off, fills that whole first outer zone as they move their way into the second outer zone. Can he fulfill that? Yes. Yes, that's the Jason Kim I know. Real smooth run from both drivers. Rome doing a good job of pretty much mirroring what Jason Kim's doing. And Jason Kim laying down a really smooth lead run. It's good to see this kind of battle. There we go. Now that was a good battle. Jason Kim Jason putting them Kim on. Pouring smoke off of that car. Good All right, so clean run, clean, uh, very, very vanilla run for both drivers. Yes, but you just, you just, you save the excitement for when you make it. Yeah. But yet again, you made runs. it this far. Good runs, nonetheless. When is it that enough's not enough? Well, you know, ideally, you like to see some, uh, something crazy happen, you know. But yeah. It, like, that's not how you get a perfect run. You want a perfect run, you kind of got to stay tame and mellow. And sometimes a perfect run. Doesn't look so crazy. Sometimes a perfect run looks real chill and tame. That's true. Because you know you got to keep it smooth and hit on the zone. But in the car, you don't see what's going on. It's crazy. You know? I still think we need that. What, where's one of them? Uh, was a, the god dang camera companies with the POV? Like imagine the POV from the dude that crashed the Daigo's car. How crazy that would look. Rome Charpentier gets the win. Good job, Rome. Good job, Jason Kim. As he drives back home, knowing that he gave it his all. Think about it, a pro had to take out Jason Kim today. And now we have the final battle of the top eight. Pablo Cabrera warming up his tires. Margaritas Catanese looks like he's warmed up and ready to go. Top four battle. The first, the first battle. Of the top four is going to be Kyle Mohan and Luke Fink. That's going to be super fun to watch. 
somebody said yellow headlights came from rally racing driving through the dust so yes it does help see through the smoke also wearing a neon orange visor helps like Ron Gittin Jr. does I have a neon orange visor on my own does that help I've never I've drifted with it it's brand new okay what brand it's uh it's from Japan I don't know it's from Japan to me. That's nice. Hell yeah, Chris Miller. All right, so we got Margaritas all lined up. Pablo Cabrera lined up. Two crazy cars. Two, lots of power coming out of both of these cars. Really grippy, really controlled, really uh, precision vehicles, both of these cars. Watching the stream from the stands. Hell yeah, brother. We appreciate you. That's right. He's double dipping. He's getting live and fire up. Yes. All right, so Marguerite Catanides out front in that E46, and Pablo Cabrera chasing the green S13 coupe. Pablo Cabrera, they're both, that's what I want to see, both of them in that zone. Exactly, and they both should, they both will be, I'm sure. As they wake their way to the outer zone, too. Let's see if Pablo Cabrera can not get lost in the smoke. He's doing good so far. He falls a little bit behind as they come through that. And lots of, that's what I'm tired of, the smoke screen from Marguerites. But uh, not phased, Pablo Cabrera shooting in. Little, little lacking in that zone, but still, nevertheless, fulfilled it. The proximity is good. He could have been a little higher in the bank, Pablo, but the proximity was great. And uh, yeah, he, I mean, tons of smoke. Like most, most of the track he had a ton of angles. So we'll have to see what he does in the uh, chase position, in the lead position. So in that sense, as long as you're in the zone, would you think how much of the car is in the zone following Definitely has to do with the deeper doing? you are in the zone, it's probably going to work for you a little more, unless you're too deep and you hit the wall. But you want to be as deep as you possibly can while not hitting the wall or, or making your, you know, or being a, having it be a detriment to your run. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that, you, know, you definitely want to be as deep as you can in the zone. So for some of the cars, they don't have a lot of power. It's going to be hard to hold that angle the whole time. You know? But for these guys, uh, yeah, you expect it of them. That's crazy. I'm sitting here like learning about drifting, about learning about drifting. Yeah. <clears throat> no, we may not ride the screen back onto the track. All right, so Pablo Cabrera is gonna give us a lead. This, uh, if if uh, if I had to guess, this is probably gonna be the crazier of the side of the battle. For this one? Yeah, I believe. Because uh, Pablo's leading, right? Yeah. Yes. I think he's going to swing it out a little, just a little more. Um, I, so I think the car is faster, is the reason I'm saying that. I think he's going to be able to take off completely, whereas uh, we had to keep it behind Margaritas. And Margaritas is going to be able to go wide open because he's got a faster car in front of him. And I didn't even think about that. And sending. Later. Margaritas right there too. Ah, not so high on the bank. Not so much. Ah, he fixed it there at the end. Margaritas really close on the door of Pablo into that second outer zone. As they come into that third one. Smooth transition. Early, early track, like a, a smooth transition into the early part of that outer zone, which a lot of people haven't been doing. Now I want to see how they fulfill this last outer in zone. In the smoke is Margaritas. Pablo Cabrera hitting that last outer zone. Oh, a little bit of fire. Fireballs on the wall. Marguerite is pretty much reeling him in for the good part of that uh, outer zone. Still, I feel Pablo's follow run was a little bit cleaner than yeah. Margarita's. Yeah, we'll have to see uh, you know, what they think of both. I think that's there, there was enough there to get a winning or losing battle. Out of good. Gonna keep, keep going. Keep it on going. Just keep on going. So the judges are deliberating. Who thinks Pablo Cabrera got it? Who thinks Margaritas Castaneda's got it? So Pablo Cabrera's got a fan club over here, right? Just a bit. The, the audience, I think the audience likes does know what, what what they're they're seeing what we see. They're seeing what we see. There's no miscommunication at all whatsoever. So as we wait here. For the judges. All right, so the judges are still deliberating. Not sure what they could be. What, what, what part of that battle do you think they're having? 
toughest time of judging? It's really coming down to that first initial initiation and then to the, I would say, the first and the last. The first and the last. Yeah, because every, everything in the middle was pretty almost almost the same. Yeah, both I think it's the next. Time. Yeah. Margaritas gets the win. Margaritas, Katsunidis. I was not expecting that, but at the same time, I was. Give it up for him, people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> so we are moving into the final four. Uh, we have got our, got our last four drivers. So Luke Fink versus Kyle Luke Mohan. Luke Fink versus Kyle Mohan. Then we, That's going to be fun to watch. It's a Corvette versus a tiny little Miata. Rome Charpentier versus Margaritas Cantonitas. That'll be a fun one, too. Beery versus Beery. Right. Yeah. 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 Because you got BMW power, BMW versus a one series. That is. It's a one series. One series. What's the chassis? I don't know. It's chassis. One QR fifty three. QR fifty three. I like it. All right. So I don't know if uh, we're gonna warm them up and go straight into this top four. And I know that we're running into commercials for the uh, live stream though. So incoming boys. Okay. Incoming. Yes. Losing it. I see Luke Fink. I see Kyle Mohan. All right, commercial break. Your supply located in Huntington Beach, and we're super excited to be an official sponsor of Hot Pit Auto Fest. If your project car struggles to merge onto the freeway, we have just a solution for you. With full kits starting at $3.99 and refills at $5 a pound, you'll be sure to have that extra pep in your pedal and still have enough gas money to get home. We provide easy access to all the parts and services you need, including refills, solenoid testing, and manifold plumbing. So give us a call, stop on by, and check us out on Instagram.
back and live stream. We are back. Can you see Commercials that? are over. This is the Go. last commercial we'll have for a bit because we're going to the top four. Luke Fink versus Kyle Mohan. Rotary versus Corvette. Did you know, so remember? This is like a battle for the, for, for some people, this is a really important battle. Remember? This is, you know, V8 versus Rotary. Corvettes were once going to be Rotary. Yes. Which is crazy to think. Instead, they made the mid engine now. Yeah. All right, so I think, uh, yeah, there's the signal right there for the drivers to warm up. It's getting real. It is. The final four is getting real. All I can hear is like, it's getting started in high. Let's get it started in high. You didn't see it today. <laughs> I've watched too much NBAs. <laughs> During like when they when they do like the playoffs, yeah. they'll play like the music. Oh as yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so man, I, I really do want to see this battle. Either it's gonna be really wonky or it's gonna be really sick. You know, both of these drivers are skilled enough to make it happen with the power difference and the chassis difference and all that. Kyle has come this far, but the loser of this battle will face the loser of the next battle for third. Correct? For third, exactly. Yeah. So there are no real All losers right. here. Who's ready for the first battle of the top four? Come on, people, who's ready? All right, so Kyle Mohan in the lead position. Luke Fink's gonna give chase in the mostly stock Corvette. If I was Kyle, like the chat saying, you gonna put the space on them and then just fill out those zones. Yeah. That would be like, don't, no Scandinavian he's flick. Just gotta gap them, get in those zones. And that's it. Get out. But you never know, it's Luke Fink, man. And Luke Fink is on him. Ooh. Nice proximity from Luke Fink. He's got to get a little higher in the bank. Kyle Mohan filling that outer zone. All he's got to do is fill the edge. This is a stock he's Corvette. The, he's hitting the zones, but Luke Fink is making it work in that Corvette. This is a stock Corvette. And nice he, proximity from Luke Fink. is on him. Kyle Mohan dropping a little tire there, but it doesn't matter. He's going to transition to that last outer zone. Both of them? Yeah, boy! And so is Luke Fink! Boy, you see this? So is Luke Fink! It's like somebody called and said, hey, I got a top prize fighter. Any old boys in the gym can fight right now. And he was like, I can kind of fight. And he's just been, that's it, that's it. All he's doing is bobbing and weaving, he's jabbing. Like somebody snuck in the pits and installed a supercharger in Luke Fink's Corvette. It better be something. It better be a Magnus 2650 under that hood, I tell you what. You got the part number? Yeah, I got the same. I got a supercharger on my R34. Yes. All right, so Luke Fink making uh, making it happen in that Corvette. Kyle well, Mohan couldn't get away from him, but did lay down a beautiful lead run. I'm hitting all the zones, filling the zones, smoking them out, giving us a fireball show. Imagine how nasty Luke Fink could be if that car was even. Could be? Could, that man is disgusting. That's what I'm saying. Like, power plus skill, he'd be out here on a JoJo Bizarre Adventure, some type of stuff. You ever, you ever, oh man, there's these, there's these videos of Luke Fink. Uh, it's like some uh, Australian drift championship like 10, 12 years ago. I remember. He's throwing backies almost every, one, every entry. All right, so Kyle Mohan's coming back. He's going to do his chase. Now, this should be fun too because he's definitely going to be able to keep it. Oh, yes. But the thing is, the power difference is a bam bam, bam bam. Yes, it is a little difficult to keep the rotary in the power band when, you, when you're getting checked up and when you're behind a slower car, but it's Kyle Mohan. Now, Luke Fink can play the, I'm going to try to gap you game because I know your rotary is, needs to be in higher RPM to keep up with me. Well, he's going to he's gonna probably beat him off the line. Mm. That torque of the V8. And then, and then Kyle's going to be right there in a matter of probably. Are like rotaries second. torquey? Uh, depends on how you build them. Mm. You guys don't have cams, huh? Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, Bridgeport and Streetport, right? The, the, the intake velocity. It was what uh, Luke Fink. Nice throw. That was that was just a super smooth flick from Luke Fink. And Kyle Mohan, like I said, diving right in. He's gonna be on his door. He should be the whole the whole lap theoretically. And Luke Fink somehow not completing that outer zone. First time we've seen it. Oh, getting real deep in that one. And Kyle Mohan having some trouble there. Not sure if it was the line. Not sure if it was the power difference. Luke Fink. But Luke Fink keeping it together. Real close to the wall. Sacrifice Did a little bit of angle for speed. But he fills the outer zone. Did we just possibly witness a man from Australia who's probably never driven this track? Possibly. Very possibly. That boy Luke Fink is a problem. You look at Luke Fink, he looked like a scientist. Yeah, he 
he, he do not look like he is cap- physically looking, but mentally he's a madman. Oh yeah, he's insane. All right, who thinks the rotary got it? Who thinks the Corvette got it? All right, so lots of Luke Fink fans. This was spectacular to see. That was amazing to see. I knew that was going to be a good battle right there. I knew that was going to be a fun battle to watch. They made it super interesting. Let me call in the chat. Just give a little live sideways. Brody Moss. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy for his boy. Oi, oi, oi. Right? Somebody said Mohan. Sarah Westwood said Mohan had a better lead. Did Mohan have the better lead? I, 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 uh, I, I, you know what? I think he did. I, I think he might have. Yeah, he, yeah, he definitely did. He had the cleaner lead for sure. <clears throat> All right, let's hear it for these drivers. We are deliberating. We should have a winner for you. Yes, we got Australians in the live stream. Australians. My people from Australia in the live stream, let us know where you're from. Did I tell you I want to open a fried chicken joint in Australia? Why are you gonna try to go have cause them some health problems? Cause them? Get them a weight epidemic. No, it, it'd be healthy fried chicken. Oh, okay. They're, they don't have as many uh, what's it called chemicals in their food as us, because uh, they 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 actually care about their citizens. <laughs> Marble, Melbourne. Look, oh, somebody's coming in from Luke Fink's house, New Zealand. We're international. Hot Pit Auto Fest International coming to a Providence near you. Hey, we are traveling. A bit. Just a little bit. Jeff Jones compensate my gas mileage? Is he gonna get me room and board? <laughs> this man can barely feed me, give me these thick ass hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Another man from Melbourne. France. France. Bonjour. Bonjour. <clears throat> I'm in the stands. Thank you for watching in the stands. In the stands. Kyle Mohan gets the win. Good the, battle. Though. Debatable. Could have went. Could have went the other way. Yes. Just a. I mean, a, just a couple corners were just slightly different. Would have went the other way. You know. Really that's, close battle. But that's motorsports. You know. And that's racing. So Luke Fink still with the chance to. Uh, still has a chance to podium. He can make it to the third. Uh, he can. He can win the consolation battle for third and still manage to podium. And next, we have Margaritas Castanidis and Rome Charpentier. Rome sounds like he's right. right? I think Charpentier. 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 All I can think is, I was like, uh, what's that one? The Lady and the Tramp? Yeah. When they eating spaghetti in the, in the alley? What exactly is a tramp? Oh, okay. Hey, my man came up. He was winning. Yeah. That's tight. Disney trying to teach us from a young age. It's, it's about that dude. Had, must have the charisma. Yeah. Apparently, Riz isn't cool anymore. Riz, there's no more Riz. There's, and now you got game. They reverted. Oh, they came. They went back. Oh, yeah. History is repeating itself. Yes. Well, now it's big game again. I can't wait for people to say that's tight. Oh yeah. yeah. Tight. Is, I, I still say tight. What's up? What's up? That's tight. When we start hearing the kids say tight, they're going to think we sound funny. They're right. like, you're trying to sound like kids. No, I've been saying tight. I'm going to just start calling people drive your mullet, turkeys. Your, your mullet and your, your spandex. We've been wearing that. <laughs> All right. Rome Charpente with a huge flick. And Marguerite's not. That's how it's supposed to be. That yeah. is the perfect textbook of follow the lead driver. Oh, and he loses it there, and Rome is gone. That's it. Rome Let's put the spade all in that zone. Marguerite's can dial him back in, reel him back in. Okay, now that was a beautiful lead from Rome. I love seeing like when we're here with the with the big power cars, like the RTR cars. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't worry about it. If the live stream does happen to, to uh, pop off for a couple seconds, don't worry. We got a whole team on it at all times, and uh, it'll be right back. Yeah, we're not slacking here. It's mostly uh, probably internet connection. We're up way in a big old concrete building, way too high off the ground. Right, way too high. Routers across the street. <laughs> we're still using 50. Imagine trying to stream with 56K. All right, track clear. We got Margaritas in the lead position. Rome's going to give chase this time. I think if uh, Rome's in, and we're going to send it. There we go. Oh, another big flick. These guys are swinging it around. A small bobble to Margaritas, but not detrimental. He's back up on the line. Rome's Rome is not giving him a foot, of, a foot of space to get away from him. Rome is on this man right now. He is putting on some type of driving exhibition. Rome is dialed right now, and this is where he left Margaritas, but this is not where Margaritas left. No, nope. Rome. look, Rome is right there with him. He said, hello. Oh, yeah. May this, I borrow some is, sugar? Rome, Rome is, uh, oh, my goodness, Rome. Give it up for Rome and Margaritas. <laughs> that was crazy. Rome is a, Rome's a madman. Bro, that Diving man, in, staying that close? Because he can trust him. He know he ain't got nowhere to go but forward. At this point, he said it and forget it. You know, like, it just is just, just to be that smooth, that consistent. That's crazy behind somebody. That's insane. Now, the loser of this battle will go against Luke Fink for third. That one series is tough looking. Gets the win. Rome gets the win. Good job, Rome. So it will be Luke Fink. Be Luke Fink and Margaritas going against each other, and uh, the winner, and then the, for the final battle, Kyle Mohan. Kyle Mohan and Rome Charpentier. Somebody said, I want to give a shout out to the Navy sailors in the stands, all the Marines, all the Army, and all the Air Force, all the active military and veterans. The ones that are here and the ones that aren't here, thank you for your service. Absolutely. So we're changing tires. Changing tires for these guys. Rome definitely is going to need some tires. Moving on to another battle. Luke, we're going to do the consolation battle, I think. Luke Fink is going to pull up to the line. Margaret's going to get some fresh tires, and they're going to battle it out for the third place spot. And then uh, Kyle Mohan and Rome are going to battle it out for the first and second place spots. We're going to throw it to commercial break right now. My name is Johnny from Nitro Supply, located in Huntington Beach, and we're super excited to be an official sponsor of Hot Pit Auto Fest. If your project car struggles to merge onto the freeway, we have just a solution for you. 
With full kits starting at $3.99 and refills at $5 a pound, you'll be sure to have that extra pep in your pedal and still have enough gas money to get home. We provide easy access to all the parts and services you need, including refills, solenoid testing, and manifold plumbing. So give us a call, stop on by, and check us out on Instagram. Hey Drift Enthusiasts, Tiny here, back on the mic to tell you all about the ACS Drift community. Not just a community, we're a family of modders, drivers, and content creator with over 49,000 members for Assetto Corsa. In our playground of over 250 servers, we're all about having a blast. From grip to toge, SRP, and especially drifting, we've got it all. It's the place where the thrill never stops. But hey, it's not just about the races and drifts. It's about the community spirit. We love giving back to our members with exciting giveaways and competitions that keep the adrenaline pumping. And guess what? We team up with Hot Pit Auto Fest for the ultimate collaboration. It's a partnership that's making us stronger. But wait, there's more. We're not just local, we're global. Our Discord is the supreme spot where drivers from all over the world come together to share the passion and drive with the pros. So what are you waiting for? Join the ACS Drift community today and be a part of the ultimate driving experience. We'll see you on the track, drifters. Yes, sir. All right, we're back. Hello, hello. And it looks like I see cars moving. We're waiting for margaritas. Is margaritas ready? Luke Fink looks ready. Get this last battle out of the way. Oh, we're back. Chris Miller, what do you think about today's event so far? Today's event so far has been fun. Here it started off a little funky with the wet trap. We didn't know really what we were going to get. Life like a box of chocolate. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, we salvaged it. The sun came out, cleaned everything up. Uh, but the crazy, the crazy thing about, um, you know, the, the weather having a big effect on it is this could have been a completely different show. True. If it was just dry. From the start, two hours earlier. Yes, one hundred. It would have been a totally different show. We would have maybe the whole field would have been different. The top eight would have looked different. The top four would have looked different. You never know. You know? Yes. Um, but yeah, I think that's the coolest part about this event. Is it's just a big shakeup. It's a big, a big uh, dice roll. You know. And yes. It turned, out, it turned out this way, and it was really fun to watch. It was, it was a bunch of exciting battles. Um, a lot of battles we haven't seen before. So, and yeah, a lot of people like, we haven't seen before. And I really like the new, the new um, qualifying format. The new qualifying format where they draw a chip, right? Instead of having to battle for it, or instead of having to, uh, uh, to do a single run qualifying for it, I like that. It's gonna it's gonna keep the driving format very. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of variety in the in the, in the, um, in the matchups. You know what I mean? Whereas we would typically see the better performing qualifiers versus the lower performing qualifiers very consistent. Yeah. Right. But you know, some of the guys that qualify good don't always don't always do good in the competition. And exactly. some of the guys that don't qualify good might do really well in competition every time. So. The fact that they're able to switch up the matchups um, with the chip pulling, I really like that too. All right, now these, uh, so Luke Fink and Marguerite are gonna warm up their tires, get the third place consolation battle going, and then we're gonna move on to the final battle. And then uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna move over to the stage behind the track. I mean, if you guys saw the stage we were doing all the car show stuff at earlier, we're gonna move over to that stage after these two battles. And we're going to announce the winners and uh, awards and all that stuff. As we dwindle down, 
to the final hours of this, or minutes actually. To the final minutes, Gary. Final minutes. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. So we got the drivers ready. We had some theme music going on up here. It sounded really cool with the drivers walking right. driving up to the uh, line. Well, Margaritas is going to lead for us. Luke Fink's going to chase. I still think, like you said, each driver needs his own intro music. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, like WWE. Yeah. Like when we, do, when we do the roll calls for the top 16, I think each driver should pick a song. Like they should just come from the smoke. All right. Margaritas out front. Luke Fink going to try to keep it right on him with that almost stock Corvette. Bro, what's in this Corvette? I don't know what it is. Ain't, ain't no way I'm convinced. This is just supposed to be a stock Corvette, right? I know right? what's in the Corvette. What's in it? Luke Fink's in the Corvette. <laughs> God dang, modified Ozzy. <laughs> it's, it's got driving mod. Look at the proximity from Luke Fink. This, uh, that, now this is where the, the beans come out. But nope, the beans are still in the can and it's in Luke Fink's hand. Just reeling in margaritas. I don't care what you say, all you goofy kids out there that think you need a thousand horsepower, Luke Fink is the definition of get your bars up. Whatever you've been doing, <laughs> go research, go home and wash under your butt, because whatever you're doing ain't the shit, you feel me? You're not even the fart. No. Damn, you listen to Ice Spice? <laughs> you may be thick, but I'm thicker. Hey, Ice Spice, if you're watching this, call 323-558. <laughs> Bring Taylor Swift too with her non no. back having Get show. Get out of here. Imagine if Taylor Swift came oh, to Hot Pit. Devil worshiper. Oh, yeah, that's right. All we right, Luke it. Fink moving into the lead position. And Margaritas in chase. Can you guys tell we are tired? I didn't know you were Ice Spice <laughs> fan, Chris Miller. <laughs> what? That's crazy. That's my girl. I didn't know Ice Spice fan. That's my baby mama. She don't know it yet, respectfully. Mm -hmm. From a distance. <laughs> So right. Luke Fink, can Luke Fink put a gap on him? If Try Luke, if Luke Fink's big margaritas, Cantonese, we make nice spice. Oh, big old fireball. Luke, Luke Fink, Fink, real high on the, on the bank there. Margaritas. That second outer zone. Ooh, a bit I guess that's his line. That's, that's the line he likes to run there. Maybe it sets him up better for this outer zone in that, in that last bank. Yeah, because he has to do this He probably carries a little more speed through that way because that is a... Kind of a funky corner. Here we go. Here we yes. go. Hit yes. the entire outer zone is Luke Fink. I think we meet Nice Spice. <laughs> I think we meet Nice Spice, y'all. Don't be surprised if you see me and Chris Miller on the cover of Complex Magazine. Yeah, if you see us in our don't that, worry. That, oh, I don't think yeah, I <laughs> you might catch me in my dr. Right? Alright, we got Luke Fink pulling up. We got Marguerite's pulling up. I think we might have a winner for this battle. We might have a third place. I don't think we get to tell you guys who won this one just yet. Do we? Yes, Rome is still oh, yeah. in group chat. So if everybody in the chat's wondering, the, the one the one V one for the for the title of Hot Pit Auto Fest round one at Irwindale Speedway will be Rome Sharpentier versus Kyle oh, Mohan. Rotary. Oh, this will be the first time I think we've had a battle where the engines in each car are from their manufacturers. There you go. Yeah. There yes. Might be, yeah, you might yes. Be All right. Give it up for these drivers. All right. Do we have a winner? Oh. Woo. All right, so the judges are deliberating. It's a real important battle to judge. This is someone's podium, potentially for the first time. So we are looking at every inch of this replay. We're looking at every corner. Uh, we're remembering everything, because we just watched it. Yes, it was like it just happened. <laughs> uh, so so probably question. gonna be a rather, not long deliberation, but a thoughtful deliberation. Well, then think about that. Which version of Ice Spice are we getting? With the curly mop or the, with the straight hair? Which one do you want? I want both. I Ooh. want like one side straight, one side curly. Like she looking like some side so side so Bob style. Man. Is this how right, girls so. be talking about like, oh my gosh, can't wait to be bad buddy? <laughs> Still <laughs> deliberate. Or as as I said, baboony. 
We do have a winner. Uh-oh. Margaritas Catanitas gets the win. Damn it, we so ain't been nice twice. Just, just squeaked out of his first podium for Hoppin' Auto Fest. Uh, uh, one chance. Personally, I thought. Same. Luke had that one. Same, but. No, no, no hate against Margaritas, because I love the guy. But I personally thought Luke had that one. Can somebody but hey, explain, he'll get another chance. Can some judges, can you explain to me? Yeah, so let me get more info on how that transpired. Come here, one of you judges, please. Elaborate. Yeah. You've messed up my chance to meet Ice Spice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why they did it, Gary. Right? Yeah, so Margaritas, he filled all the zones extremely well in his lead. And uh, when they switched positions, Luke had a bobble. Excuse me, Luke, let me back up. In the chase, Luke had a bobble coming off interclip into outer zone four. And it was a pretty heavy straight. Coming, coming out, and then uh, on his lead, he left out of zone two early, and uh, that, it was just split hairs at that point for those guys. I mean, Luke's an animal. He can drive a couch if you put him on a couch. <laughs> like, dude, That's dude's true. a hammer. Yeah. He's, he's going to hurt some feelings out here for sure, but I, I don't think he's mad at him for the guys. Oh, no. No, yeah, he can't be. He took a look inside his heart and told me what he saw. Right, so thank you, Riley. It's and okay. uh, this is our battle here. This is our first place battle. We've All right, so when these guys line up, I want you guys to stomp your feet how you did earlier. And I'm, you guys are going to pump them up, and they're going to drive harder, I promise. When they get to that, they line, get to that people, line, I'm going to do a 3 2 1 countdown real quick. And we're I want you to feet. stomp your feet. I want to make it feel like the 94 earthquake in here. <laughs> I remember the, that. The North Ridge? Bro, I was in my daddy's bed, and a picture that he had of these two butt naked ladies fell on the bed, punctured his water bed, and I was like, Daddy, I'm drowning. <laughs> and he's like, You're not drowning. <laughs> this is an earthquake. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, that was the last time he saw two naked women. <laughs> All right, so Rome Charpentier in the lead, position Kyle Mohan in chase. We are going to have a battle here. All right, three, two, one, stop your feet. Let's hear it. Stop your feet. Stop your feet. There we go. That's this is your final battle of round one, Hot Pit Auto Fest 2024 at Irwindale Speedway. We're setting the Richter scale for fun right now. That just registered, Gary. I guarantee it. That was like a 2.3. That was a 2.3. We had a, a 4.7 earlier for sure, but everybody's getting caught. It's understandable, bro. They've been all walking right. around all day. Rome Charpentier out front. Cal Mohan and Chase. Ooh. Big fan entry. Lots of fireballs. It's already fun to watch. Yes. Here we go, people. This is what you've been waiting for. And proximity from Kyle. Proximity. Both in those zones. And just how, how smooth is that guy in it's every a, zone? Rome is just... Uh-oh, Kyle not fulfilling that oh, third no. zone. And Kyle's having trouble there. Kyle's L having trouble A little bit. There. Rome, if you can hear me, just fulfill the last outer zone, my child. And it looks like he's going to do that. And he taps the wall. It doesn't mess his lineup. Slows down a little bit. Something's in the water. Man, that guy is just so smooth out front. Rome sharpens here with a buttery lead. Little tiny, tiny bubble there at the end with the wall tap. But it was a wall tap. That yes. was cool. Yeah, it was. That is allowed here. Some, in FD, I don't think you could do that no more. Yeah, I think wall taps are a little frowned upon. Yes. Not the prettiest. The thing, right? To think about, like, the, the thing that made drifting, drifting, a smack in a wall, you took away. But now that makes you make a more of a professional for precision. Yeah, you know. But this ain't no FD. This is Hot Pit Auto Fest, where you can run the wall as long as you want, as long as you stay sideways. As long as you keep, you fill that outer zone, as long as your line is clean, as long as you're not adjusting or bobbling, you know, good show. Got it. Yeah, definitely, Courtney. You definitely got to give it to Luke. Top four, pretty much stock Corvette. It's his first time uh, driving Hot Pit Auto Fest. I'm not sure if he's driven Irwindale before. So to snag fourth in your first time, that's, yeah. So the, that's the, a feat. the major keys for success for Kyle right now is to not straighten out and fulfill all those zones. But for Rome to beat Kyle, all he has to do is pretty much mimic his line and stay in those zones, and he'll be good. Yeah, yeah I mean... Rome's kind of, uh, he's looking real locked in right now. He you is. Know, Kyle's, I can see Kyle's still got a few things that he's working on here. As far as coming out of that second out of zone, there's a little bit of a bubble. I'm not sure if he's not keeping enough speed or if he's throwing it too early, but he's not making it all the way out to that outer zone. He's having to cut his line short, dump, dump the clutch just to build the speed through this transition. So. True. Um, and, and Rome's looking a little better through that section, so we'll have to see if Kyle can clean it up here for his uh, lead and uh, potentially knock Rome up. That could be it. So let's see as they take off. Kyle's out of there. Looks like he's running out of tire just a little bit, but he breaks it right into that first outer zone, right up against the wall. His wings inches away. 
They come to that second zone. They both feel this. this now is, this, this is part. This section. And uh, he figures it out. He does. But that's where Kyle struggled in his chase. That was Kyle, that's where Kyle was struggling in his chase. And Rome, now he's trying to put a little bit of yeah. gap on him, but I don't think he could do that to Rome like that. I don't think Rome's having as much trouble in his chase as Kyle was, nope. so that's that's going to come into play when uh, when the judges go to judge this. Give it up for Kyle Mohan and Rome Charpentier! That was beautiful. That was beautiful. And I believe that was officially our last lap of round one Hop Hit Auto Fest. We probably have a winner from that. If I had to guess. If I had to guess, what you're thinking, tell me what's on your mind. Because I want to know. What you're thinking? As the drivers come to the line. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. I think that's Rome trying to... Something's wrong with Rome's car. It's not making it all the way. He might have a run down here. Uh-oh. Maybe some mechanical issues on the last lap, or maybe he's just talking to his buddies. Somebody said, if you don't win as an FD driver... Well, they're both FD drivers, so... You give up your license. Well, they're both FD drivers, yeah. so what, what does that mean? If you, right. if you can't commentate up here on a professional level, then you shouldn't comment. <laughs> That's like what you just said. Who thinks Kyle Mohan got this one? Who thinks Rome Charpentier got this one? Who wants to go home? <laughs> home gets the win. Just make it safely, please. Give it up for both these drivers, though. These guys just threw down for you guys in the, in the first round of Hot Pit Auto Fest. We get to watch them shred up Irwindale. They're tearing up their cars. Hopefully the cars are good. Hey, but that's what happens. So someone's getting the big money here. Big money, big money, big money. As we wait here for the drivers. We're waiting for the last deliberations. We've been here since 7 in the morning. No, I got here at 10, correction. All right, so it wasn't the blast battle of your of the first round. We're going one more time. Can you guys make it? <laughs> I don't know if both. I don't know if the drivers can do it one more time. Bro, I don't know if I can do it one more time. Well, I saw Kyle get out and look at his head, and I saw Rome get out and look at his diff. <laughs> Somebody's tapping out. Rome can't. Uh, I guess he can't. Whoa. Oh, damn. Encrypted messages from this, uh, Cybertron have entered our chat. Damn. That's a bit quiet out there, Chris Moore. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just listening. I can overhear the radio just a tad bit. I'm trying to get information for everybody. It seems like Rome has uh, some technical issues with his cars, mechanical issues with the car that he wouldn't be able to fix in a five-minute timeout, and he may have to bow out of competition, in which case uh, Kyle Mohan would default. Nah, nah. I've come up with the solution. Make him fade for it. Okay, so uh, officially what we're going to do is uh, Rome's going to call a five. Uh, he's going to change his tires and try to strap up that exhaust, and we're going to run it back if we can. Bro. Um, in the event that he can't fix the car, the default uh, win would go to Kyle Mohan. Somebody commented Gary Wipes. <laughs> Gary Wipes back to front. I can't even, I can't even repeat this man's username. <laughs>
All right, so we got, we got five minutes to get this going. And make it snappy. Make it quick. We are, we, we're out of here soon, guys. Y'all better bring some, some zip ties and some BC headache powder. All right, so just to clarify again, once, once we do get through this final battle, we're going to need everybody to go over to the stage area, and we're going to actually announce all the winners and the awards. We're not doing it on the track like we typically do. We're changing it over, and we're going to do it at the stage. Hey, my boy White Aaron is having a healthy baby boy. Congratulations. Yes, Aaron King. He works for Chris Forsberg. has just announced that he's having a baby boy. This is a great day. <laughs> Shout out to everybody having babies out there in the world. Nice, beautiful, healthy babies and stuff. Should we give a big final thank you to all our sponsors out there that made this possible? I'm gonna go find out what transpired in that in that battle because mm. I could have swore we had a winner. I thought I so too. I want to find out how we didn't get a winner from that. Who's gonna come back? From that goes that I will do the thing that I do best: BC Racing, Aeromotive, Optima Batteries. Action Clutch, Nitro Supply, Big Duck Club, the Prisma Lab, Status Racing, Link ECU, Lab, uh, LADBX, Zestino Tires, Valino Tires, and Vitor Tires. Thank you everybody for coming out. We are waiting for one more time. Make sure you go check out all the booths out there, the Tri-Speed booth where they're giving away the steering wheel from Hold Fast and selling anytime shirts. Also BC Racing. They got Cafe 86 out there. I'll be Firm 400. The Zestino booths out there. Just go support all the booths. It takes a lot to get here to these events, and these people put in a lot of hard work. And also, you put in a lot of hard work to buy the tickets that come here. So we appreciate all of you for showing up. Everybody in the live stream who's watching, thank you very much. You guys have stuck with us this long, and I can't be more supportive than I am now by saying thank you. You guys make this event happen every time, and we look forward to commentating every time. Go ahead, Brody Moss, go ahead. Yeah, that didn't make sense. I'm only just one man talking. As we find out with the... So right now, Rome has to fix his car for a competition five, a five minute timeout for a competition timeout. So we are trying to find out what's going on right now. Uh, it's a little bit difficult because we are in a time crunch. But nevertheless, that's no excuse. So it's exciting to see. Give us, give us the cheese, man. We need to know what's going on. Here we go. Oh, that's Chris Miller. We are going to find out what exactly was the calling for the one more time. Oh. All right, so they were really close. That was a really awesome battle. And we're splitting hairs to try to get a decision, and we want to make a clean decision. So what happened was when Rome went into outer four, and he hit the wall, the hit was okay, but the slowdown after that was very drastic. So that was making Kyle bobble there. So then when Kyle was following Rome into, what was it? Three. 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 He, uh, he had a, yes, into three, he straightened and went, he straightened and then came shallow there. So, being those two things offset, the other parts of the run were too close, and that's why we said let's run it again. Okay, so it was like a cancel, a cancel out on the mistakes. Yes, cancel out the mistakes. Right, right, right. yeah. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Cincinero. Appreciate you. Finally, I got the mic right after all, all this right. time. So that, make, that makes sense. It I, does. I can understand that. I feel more comfortable with that. And that's this, that's what happens is a lot of times we don't understand what the judges are looking at. I'm like, oh, that run was sick. And they're like, yeah, it was sick until, you know. I'm over here playing the instant replay in my head, yeah. trying to figure out what is he talking about. 
So we should be just about at the limit of our five minute, maybe two more minutes, something like that. As we wait. Oh, uh, they're talking about some spicy stuff up there, Chris Miller. Hopefully these uh hopefully we can get this done here. Uh oh. Wow. Kyle Mohan, can you uh come get ready on the line? This is. Do, do we tell the people what's going on? No. So right now we're waiting for one of the drivers to appear at the line. Right now, Rome Charpentier is in the middle of his competition timeout. He has about two minutes to finish. If he can't get that done in two minutes, then Kyle Mohan would get the win. Correct, Chris? I believe Kyle Mohan, it, the win defaults to Kyle Yes. And, th and that's literally just on a technicality of he couldn't get it done. It's just, it would just, that's how the rules work. Yeah. Right now, it's a matter of who gets there first. <sighs> Damn. This is so, right, so it's coming down to the wire here. Literally, Rome's wiring up his exhaust so it doesn't drag right now. Someone's on the line. Who's on the line? I hear a rotary. Is that? There's so much going on right now, Chris Miller. My top is about to blow. So, right now, we're just waiting for time or somebody to show up. Everybody give it up for my man on the bike! Is that electric scooter? Yeah, he's killing it. Do a backflip. Nice transition into that left hand swing out. Right? Sweet stand up. Is that RJ? I think so. He's giving Oh, with a willy! It's RJ. There you go. <laughs> that's RJ. No, no, that's not RJ. Is it? Oh, it's not. No, it's not. Bro, my nuts are Sweet! All right, we are literally pushing this down to the wire. Rome, get that car on the ground. You ever, Trust me. Rome, just get Rome, somebody just get, get it on the, the ground oh, to the line. Trust hands. me. Rome, even if you're dragging a little bit of exhaust, just get to the line. Kyle get on the hands line. scurrying around. He's moving. Uh, Kyle, Kyle Mohan's coming. Uh -oh. Rome, get on the ground and get to the line. Just get to the line. doesn't matter. Go, go, go. Go, okay. Yeah, just get there. Drag your exhaust all the way there. Who cares? Don't warm up. Don't warm up your tires. Just go. Just go. Go. This is like watching a horror movie. Go. Just do a burnout on the line. Go, go, go. Go. Go fast. You think he cares? You think he cares? Just do burnouts to get to the line. Hard shot. Where, what are you doing? Perfect. Rome, get on the line. Bro, I'm about to have a heart get attack. Get ready to run it. Bro, I'm about to have a heart attack. I'm going to freak out. Oh, uh, it looks like. <laughs> My daddy's having a heart attack. My something's, hap something's happening. <laughs> All right, Rome's ready. Rome's ready. What's up, Kyle? Are you ready? Kyle, just bring yourself to the line. Rome is the one to the line. What do we want to do? Well, all right, guys. So just to be transparent out there, this is a battle 
for a hard out. We're, we're, we're closing the track hard at 7.30, right? Well, we need one of these drivers, or both, ideally both, to battle this out before we have a hard out, or else we have a really sticky situation on our hands where we have to default to a winner. So straight to the line, no no burnout. He's got to be able to run this, and we're going to have a winner, but hopefully by the end of this battle. If we don't, it's going to default. Uh, we're going to have to go to the rule book, and it's going to default, and nobody's going to be real happy about that. God dang. My stress can't take this. You got to go. You got to go. Stop warming that shit up and go. No. What? Bro, this is like watching Tom and Jerry. No. <laughs> All right, they're on the line. Go, just go. Go, send it, send the cars. Go. Throw them in the lead. Kyle in the chase. We made it. One minute to go, folks. One, one minute. Jesus, what a stressor. Well, that, was good. that was a good one. Right, bro, my heart can't take Woo. it anymore. At this point, we're just watching as fans. We cannot even commentate. Yeah, this is, oh, this man, is, this it, is just... This just adds to the level of excitement. Stress. Anxiety. Out of zone, both drivers. No mistake from Kyle there. Still smooth from Rome. Holding it together. Oh, Kyle's oh. got the proximity. Nice. Rome's in the zone. And Kyle with a small bobble there. All right, All right. let's get him back to the line and see who wins this one. Just turn around. Go and the rain is back just at 7.30. Oh, so you guys go. are going home, whether you like it or not. Bro, go back home. Bro, I'm trying to go home. I can't. The, the rain on, at right on 7:30 is is crazy. Bro, Tim's it's, Tim, a, it's just divine intervention. Bro, somebody turns. Somebody was like, just throw water on the throw on the guys. Yeah. <laughs> somebody <laughs> splashing water back at us. All right, Rome made it back. What's going on? If we can finish inside at 7:30 and we technically still are solid on time, that'd be crazy. Kyle, what are you doing? Come on. Come Bruh, on, bud. Who's the spotter? Come on. Who's the spotter? Tell him to go. Kyle Mohan, go. Oh, brother. I'm about to have an anxiety attack, and I thought that only happened to Caucasians. We're losing it up here, folks. We're losing it. We are having a time up here, okay? It's getting down to the – it's been down. The wire is one minute past, right? actually. We're one, one minute, minute past the wire. For each minute that we're late. Go. Go. Just go. Kyle Mohan. <laughs> Gives his lead. I can't believe we're able to do this. <laughs> Kyle Mohan's going to give lead. Throwing it in. Nice little fin entry. Rome's right on his tail. There we go. There we go. Fulfilling that outer zone number one. Yeah, but what if, what if they both do too good of leads and chases and we have a one more time? You know what? We're giving both of them a gold medal. I ain't about to sit here and de debate who's going to get nothing. Well, both drivers seem to be doing really well in both of their chases and leads. It would come down to the one bottle, yeah. I think, that Kyle Mohan had in his chase. Right here, if Rome it, doesn't do that, I would think maybe he gets the win in that. But there's other things we're never seeing always going on. And Kyle Mohan, Rome Charpentier, round this out. And we are done, I believe, in hope. Yes. Did y'all pick a winner? Three, two, one. All right, we do have a winner, folks. We do have a winner, but we're gonna announce that winner at the at the stage. We're gonna yes. go to the stage. Everybody, come to the stage. Thank you for. Is it off of mute? No, I, I unmuted. Yeah. Oh, you lost mute? We're gonna announce here. Okay. All right. All right. So we're gonna give you a winner here, and then we're gonna show. Uh, we're gonna do the trophy ceremony over there at the stage. Give it up for Rob Charpentier and Kyle Mohan. There you go. Make some noise, Make people. Make some noise for both these drivers. If you're still sitting down, stop your feet. They can feel it and hear it. I have to stand up. I got a hamstring cramp. And your winner for the round one at Hot Pit Auto Fest, Irwindale Speedway 2024 is. He's an FD driver. He drives a two-door car. The winner is Rome Charpentier. All right, see so y'all downstairs. All right, everybody go to the stage and watch them get their trophies. Also, uh, Margaritas, we need you at the stage too. Can't tell you why, but you gotta be there. Margaritas, Katsunitis, to the stage.
time here, right? All right, so that was round one. Round one. So what we're going to do is we're going to send these drivers over to the stage. They're going to get their trophies. We wanted to let some of you guys know who are on here right now who won, what's going on. But because we have a large car show happening on the back end, and we've got probably 100 car show guys over there waiting for their trophies as well. They wanted to share in the action. We wanted to send the winners tonight over to the stage so they can do that. A little bit different from your traditional stuff, but hey, at Hop It Out of Fest, we like to do things different. And holy moly, man, you guys say some things, but it's funny. <laughs> I'm definitely getting you a beep button. A bleep, 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 bleep. Holy smokes. Gary needs a bleep button back. Tell me, what were some crazy, uh, eventful things that were happening right now? Uh, well, I would say the most interesting thing that, that happened today, the most interesting thing to me was the track changes, the, the, the track conditions. The track, oh, that, lots of people on track. The track conditions, that, you know, it was wet, it was dry, it was kind of wet, it was kind of dry. Um, it was half wet, it was half dry. So the, the, the constant change in conditions is what was fun for me, because that really weeds out the good and bad drivers. You got to be a great driver to drive in all of those different conditions on the same track. Now, if you weren't able to do it this time, now a lot of drivers learned that maybe they have some work, places to work on in their in their repertoire. You know, maybe yeah. I need to work in, I need to work on my wet drifting. Maybe I need to wet the track down, rent the track, and wet it down for a couple of days and get used to that. We got fireworks in the background. Holy moly! Uh, hey, I didn't even pay for that, so that worked out pretty well. <laughs> Check that out. Does that come for free? No. That's what happens when the show is over. <laughs> Tim hits the button and fireworks just come out. That is amazing. Right off the side of the freeway. Right? What Someone's is, getting down on the 605 right now. I wish I could show you guys that's, that. That's coming from the quarry. We got it on the live stream. You do? That is amazing. Hot Pit what Auto the? Fest is crushing it right What's now. What's going on? Yep, I paid the extra bucks. This is what happens when it's done. That's where your lunch money went. What do you mean? We did pay for this. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was in the budget, wasn't it? I, I think that might be an issue. This might be a problem. That's like near an electrical tower. That is going off good. The entire freeway is shutting down now. Yeah. Right on the freeway. Yeah, I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah, what's happening right now? That is, um... Trapped, the freeway stopped because of this, these... Oh, here, oh wait, it's on there, never mind, they, they did see it. That's an interesting thing. What's okay. happening? I will try to keep my thoughts while that is happening. <laughs> Everyone, we've got um, a bunch more events happening. We've got four more. We've got Hot Pit Auto Fest round two happening in Kern County, May, am I saying this right? May 18th. May 18th. Yep, at Kern County Raceway. Kern County Raceway. That will be our first time going there. And then, um, you know, we'll, a lot of us will be traveling to Formula D, running uh, those events. So half of our guys in Hot Pit run other drift events. I know there's like LS Fest, there's some grid life stuff. You know, a lot of traveling guys, these dudes are going to go across the country, even myself included, come back. Uh, halfway through the year in September. We are, not September, July. July. Get ahead of myself. We are back here with Speed Peeps at Irwindale Speedway. So if you guys want to come see this in person, we will be back here July 27th at the House of Drift. Um, at that point, I think that we are going to actually run the Big Bank. Really? That's the plan. We've told all the drivers, get a Hans device, get your seatbelts nice so, and tight. So I think... So they're getting I, prepared. I, I think that's uh, going to be huge for the drivers because... One thing that I've noticed every single time I've done it, I, 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 even I've drifted an event at window or there was a, thir there was a Thursday night drift. Anybody who's gunning for Formula Drift or who wants to be a pro driver, whenever they can, they squeak out a FD run and they'll sneak one in and they'll get in trouble for it and all right. that. But well, they always, someone did that. But they'll all, exactly. Night. Everyone always does it at Irwindale because you just want to run that line, you know? And I so we're doing the podium on the stage. Just realized we're going to be putting champagne all over my stage. That's going to be wild. Fireworks are back. There's definitely something on fire. There's on the a freeway. fire over there. Okay. Well, there's some very interesting things going on at uh, Irwindale Speedway. <laughs> so we have to really thank some of our sponsors, guys. I know you've heard this probably throughout the day. Um, some of these guys really came in clutch to help us out. Speaking of clutch, Action Clutch. Uh, BC Racing, Coil Jeff Overs. Jones Racing. We actually signed a multi-year deal with BC Racing. That's huge. So that's pretty huge. These guys, uh, you know, they saw what we were doing and believed in it. Status is back. Prisma Labs is back. NRG seats. 
We actually stole all of their equipment yeah. from the <laughs> from the Prisma lab. From the Prisma lab to actually pull this off. And we got Zestino tires, Zestino Valino tires. tires, and Vitor tires. Yep. So thank all of them. We definitely couldn't do it without you guys. Nitrous Express is uh, joined on board with this. Nice. They were actually filling everyone's uh, nitrous bottles today. And then uh, Aeromotive, they're actually fixing fuel pumps while we're out there. We had a few, you know, problems go on. And they're also doing electric water pumps now. So Sweet. what's really cool is these brands, not only are they coming on as sponsors, they're, they're actually here they're at the coming facility. Out. And they're yeah. like, hey, we want to help fix whatever we can. Mm -hmm. If the dudes are having problems with their coilovers, we're working on them. If they need seats, belts, you know, That's status, huge. energy, those dudes are working together, helping dudes out. Contingencies are super mm -hmm. rad. Um, Wise Fab's giving out $1,000 for the hardest charging driver later on tonight. So there's a lot of awards that are going to go on to the actual stage for contingencies. I believe we have actually over 15 checks just that we're giving out tonight. So somebody's going to win a lot of wow. things right now. The podium drivers are going to get easily 15, five checks each, wow. if not more. Oh, Optima Batteries has stepped on board. Yeah, That's huge so too. one of the drifters is getting, I don't know how we're, who's getting that one. I think it's first place. First I should have done my homework battery. on that one, yeah. And one of the car show winners. Nice. Yep. So, so lots of lots of potential here at Hopkins Auto Fest. If you're, even if you're a things. car show guy, you can come and get some awards and make some money. Oh, you, maybe you're not a professional drifter, but you got a cool car. Come down to Hop in Auto Fest. Come down, hang out, and we're seeing if we've got our actual stage up and running yet. We've literally have a cameraman. He's got it, I think, thrown over his shoulder, like oh, rescuing like someone. Big kind camera. Yeah, like big TV camera, camera. Running over there with the tripod and everything, trying to uh, actually get the stage. We've got a crazy wire. I don't know if it's wireless or if we got a wired guy just like running a big extension cord, plugging it in. <laughs> They're making it happen though, right? Can you imagine like there's just 20 extension cords to make it here to there? I mean, I can see it happening. It's got to be a thousand feet from where the track was, where he was. <laughs> He's been in there all day quarter long. Quarter mile walk. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised my tent survived. It's been out there all day. Yeah, well, yep. it's a tent, you know. It's, it's it's for the weather. Let's see, live stream. Are we gonna get that going? Is that a thing? It sounds like we're gonna get it. The live stream? I would say just have a static shot. I think we're going to get it. Hopefully, we're going to pan over or switch to the actual stage. We have the chart of the stage. Run it. We have the chart of the stage. All right, Run. so with that being said, we're going to switch over to the stage. We're switching over to the stage. I don't know if we are still doing audio or if they have audio, so we'll hang out for a little okay. bit. Okay. We will hang out. Chris, you told me you're working on a new brand. You're working with something? Yeah, yeah. So I got a new brand. Uh, it's called yeah, Loot. Sure uh, we're a lifestyle brand. So we're working on merch. We're working on uh, some, yeah, I, you know, we're, we don't have a patent on this product yet, so I can't really talk about it. And wow, it's a okay. really cool revolutionary product. Very smart product. man. Don't say it yeah, live. It's a revolutionary product. You know? um, lots of people are going to be into it, but I uh, can't talk about it just yet. So be on the lookout for Loot. Yep, uh, yep. Loot Pack, it's, it's going to be our two brands that we're launching. Rad. And Gary's got some stuff going on. He's got Gary with the Tri Speed, does. right? Yeah, Booty Hustlers. Tri Speed, Booty Hustlers, lots yeah. of stuff going on. All of Gary. us, man, we're working hard. We're doing all the side things we're that making, we can. We're making it, we're making it thing. Yep. We're making it do. Of course, I've got Big Drift Energy. That is uh, our own merch line. Yeah, if you guys if you guys want some cool clothes, if you guys want some hats and shirts from the man Jeff Jones, go to BigDriftEnergy.com. Get you, get you some merch. I'm sure he's sitting on some stuff because he... Working too damn hard at Hot Pit Auto Fest <laughs> to set up a booth. No, he's not. He's not that far. It's not 20,000 feet. 20,000 feet, you said. We just heard it's 20,000 feet over there. I don't know who did the math, but that's 20, a lot. 20,000 feet. <laughs> to walk over there? I have definitely 20, done inches. Over, I've definitely done over 20,000 steps. <laughs> tell you that. 20,000 so, inches. Uh, one thing that we are going to release, if you guys are still holding on with this right now, uh, we are going to release this track on the Hot Pit Auto Fest uh, website tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, the racetrack that you see, ACS uh, guys, uh, they designed the course. So ACS is going to release the course off the Hot Pit Auto Fest website. And we'll have their Discord on there so you guys can join their Discord. They got over 40,000 followers. ACS, those are the cool cars. Those are re the really nice cars, or the nice uh, servers, I think. The really nice servers, yeah. yeah. They, they've actually got over 200 servers. Yeah. So well, if you're on a set of Corsa, which is what ever. we're actually talking about, a set of Corsa, Semrig, Drifting, uh, they're releasing the track tomorrow. You can go get the track, it's free. And then uh, you can run it and do your own Hot Pit stuff. Their version of Manami, I mean, their version of uh, uh, North Course, Ebisu, is sick. It's sick. It really feels like you're actually driving that track. I'm pretty sure I could drive North Course now because I have 100 hours on it in the ACS server. 
I like how you can see me working on my phone. You can't sneak nothing around. You can't over sneak here. nothing over here. Yeah, how have you been eating this whole time? I haven't been eating this whole time. Gary ate a glizzy on camera though. That must have been nice. Yeah, I haven't ate anything all day actually besides a uh, three bites of a cheeseburger. Are you uh, sponsored by Slurpees? Uh, yeah, I, I bought this earlier. It was it was delicious, but it melted before I could drink it. How far away are we from getting that shot? Is that a thing? Not a thing. We're still waiting on it. Tell me a joke. Tell you a joke? Uh, <laughs> oh man, oh, I can't say that one. Huh. Tell me about Luke Fink. What do you want to know? Well, you know, I messaged him uh, about a month ago and was like, hey, bud, what do you think? Yeah. You know, it didn't take much to get him out here. A little bit of in and out, dude. and he was down. And he's down for rad stuff. I literally just asked, hey, do you want to get some in and out? And he's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm down. I was like, wow, I really thought this was going to take yeah. more. <laughs> You know, it's tough to He's get in cool and out, guy. right? He's yeah. a cool dude. No, I was uh, I was impressed with that. You know, yeah, is and it for for a fourth a fourth place car. His, yeah, it's a pretty stock car. Yeah, arguably, I'm sure that there's a bunch of people on here that think that he should have gotten. I think he should either have gotten. moved on to first and second. I think or he should have won easily third place. I think he should have won third place. Yeah, I, I was telling the judges I was in the middle of a conversation when I was watching it, and I actually thought that he won. Yeah. But then Chris had pointed out a few mistakes that maybe I didn't see, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and that's, what, that's, what, that's what, my, what, what my opinion was, too. Yeah. I thought it looked great, but there's obviously things that we don't see because we're yeah. just locked. We're lost in the, the coolness of yeah. it, where the judges are picking the run, run apart from start to finish. Yep, yep. We're looking at how cool it is and how fun it looks and all that. So I thought it was the better run, but, you know, the judges are always looking at other stuff. That looks, we actually have the stage now. So the we shot. We can see it. I can see the stage. Uh, Let's see how this works out. There might be a microphone over there. If anything, we'll just try to walk through what we see. It's very dark over there, huh? It's got green lights on. So right now the live stream is live on the Car Show Awards, again, Origins came in in a big way to help us out. So are we still doing different partners for every round? Yes, we are. Nice. We have got uh, SoCal City hosting their Z Days for the second round. And then when we come back here, we've got... Come on up. We also have the fire department on the freeway now. <laughs> that was wild, dude. That was I wild. wonder if someone did that on purpose. What if someone was like, I'm going to do fireworks for hot food? Take over on the thing. Okay. Let's let them run it. We'll go ahead and mute right here. Right. Hopefully you guys can hear the audio on there. Thank you guys very much. Really appreciate you. So this is us signing out. We're going to go work for another like 10 hours and then come back here a bunch of times. You're going to sneak away. Thank you very much. Can't uh, say thank you to everyone who worked their absolute butts off. Man, you guys worked hard for pennies, and I appreciate it. Of course. We got a big dream. I think we're going to do something really cool yep. with this. Definitely. Oh, yeah. That's why we're here. All right, boys. I'll see you. Thank you guys for stick sticking around. I just want to let you guys know, if it wasn't for Van meeting him at a Formula D event here at this location, we would have never been where we are today. So I just want to give you a huge shout out, Van. Without you, Orton, realistically, wouldn't be where it's at today.
just the, the gray and black. Horsepower 2J S13 hatch. That is beautiful. That's that sound that's ringing in my ear right now. <laughs> Congratulations. Hurt me good. Hurt me good. We have, I like to have a cat with a blue card. Next up is going to be Sean with the pink card. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, we're not, we're not really. Swole, right? That's what happens, right? Give me Kit Kat, man. They got all the flavors. They got the weirdest flavors of Kit Kat. Yeah, I'm sure they got like, bug flavors of Kit Kat or something. I know they got green tea Kit Kat. They got Oreo Kit Kat. Oh, they got yeah, green tea Kit Kat. Man. I don't even sound good, but I think it's actually pretty good. It's like a hot chip green tea Kit Kat. Yeah, man. Congratulations, man. Yeah. I love the color, too. I love that pink.
Custom, really, yeah, it's beautiful. I was looking at that, like, wow, these, are, these don't look like they're standard or, or aftermarket. They're pretty custom, yeah. yeah. good job. Congratulations. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Right, so next, coming up, with Danny, with his 1995 240SX, F14, blue. Yeah. Come on up here, Bernie. Get you your award. Top 15 Hot Fest. What do you mean? There you go. Good job, man. Yeah. Did you do the paint on it? Yeah. So I took it down to Bare Meadows, Meadow and Graves, 23 layers of candy paint, six layers of flakes, and three layers of surface. That's impressive. That is beautiful. It pops from here. Like, I'm up on the stage. And that's yeah, that's clean as fuck. Uh, 
helping us customize the RTR grill. And uh, first and foremost, we want to thank God. And of course, God, of course, for one, for just giving us and providing us all right, so all we got a few other awards. Thank you, guys. So now we go into the top four guys. Top four guys, which are the in exhibited over here. So, which is the first one? First one taking top four is Alex, the 1997 Honda Acme. This is the 130K truck right here. Bro, this is absolutely wild. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I freaking love it. I want one. I asked my wife if she buy good build one. She told me no, but I want it anyway. I mean, it's just such a uh, the hydraulics on that thing, just the way they work too. If you get a chance to look up front, like look inside of it, and you can ask Alex. There you go. Congratulations, brother. Yeah, no problem. RJ, 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 bring him over there. Hi. Tripping over the back of your, of your Liberty Walk kit, that thing's kicked out. So we, we made this crazy metal awards. Yeah. 
There you go, my man. Yeah. It's a beautiful starlet, too. Thank you. Are we still in Are we still in Are we still in Up here, coming up. So, you know what, guys, quickly introduce yourselves, how you got into drifting, and all that good stuff. All the way for Jeff. So, Cal, this is your story. So, me and Al today were actually really tough battles. Uh, the weather definitely became challenging. And, uh, you know, the first thing is, the first time here, I think it's probably a good thing. So, I think it's a you know, distant power, VA. Really hard. 
We got 200 for Mr. Mario Ritis. We got 300 bucks for Cal Mohan. Yeah, he's freezing. And Rogue gets himself a nice set of followers. Yeah. But wait, there is more. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so, so, so much for it. 